All right. Hello, everyone. It's Farrick, and welcome to day 83 of the Wizard 101 on a budget solo death walkthrough series. Now, today is the day that we've been talking about for a very, very long time the Darkmoor Graveyard Solo. There are a lot of things to talk about. There are a lot of updates behind the scenes, farming crazy that I've done. I won't be able to talk about all of it. There are new emotes. I'll talk about those later. For now, um, I do want to start this as quickly as possible. We have a pet to get to Mega. We have some gear, a bunch of stuff that I did off stream. So anyways, let's just get started with things right away. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go to our dorm room so I can get to the commons as fast as possible. Um, but there's also some not so amazing news. So one of the things that I did off stream, good news. We'll start off with good news. Your boy, Michael Silverflame, won tied first place in attorney and an exalted tourney without having... I mean, technically, I had Bone Smasher and Crocopatra gear, but I didn't have anything else. I had pretty low pierce, but we tied for first place. So because of that, I was able to pick up some jewels. So um, if we look here, we got this Death Seekers Talisman last, uh, last stream, and I bought some flat resist jewels, but then I noticed I actually had a 44 set ice flat resist jewel, which is going to be amazing. Again, the way flat resist jewels work is it's for each incoming hit. So over times, it's like it does four times the amount. And in the Yevgeny battle, since the minions spam ice overtimes, this is actually really, really useful. So I socketed a universal one, and then I socketed the ice one. Now for the ring, um, I farmed for the final pierce jewel. Obviously, I need that stun resist jewel um, if I use conviction. But I, I think at this point, I'm not even using conviction. So I should probably... I should actually just like probably get rid of it, honestly, because I think I'd benefit from another flat resist jewel at this point. So, you know what? Yeah, I'll probably just... I'll probably shatter the, the stun resist and socket a flat resist. Let me see if I have one. Do I have one? Uh, flat resist. What is it? A square socket, right? Yes, I do have another flat resist. So I'm actually going to socket that because uh, you'll see with, with my strategy what I do now. Um, we'll talk about it in a second. Uh, however, I did a ton of farming solo and I will admit it, I did an hour of farming with my other wizards because... I was on a time crunch and I really, really needed this uh, jewel, but I was not able to get it. Look at all these jewels. I got balance boon, balance it, death, fire. I Look at how many ice jewels I got. I got ice boon, ice dealer, ice eye, shot, sniper, ward. I got basically every single jewel except for ice away, dude. Except for ice away. Your strategy, we'll, we'll talk about it, D-Wiffs. We'll talk about it in a second. I got everything except ice away. So, unfortunately... Regardless of what this pet gets at Mega, we're not going to have the max whatever resist 95. We're going to be missing Ice Away. And if anything, if this fails with Mighty, or, or sorry, if this gets uh, Ice Away as a talent, then this is actually going to probably be worse than the other pet. I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'd have to check it out, but we'll see. Um, so I guess the first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to train Magnificent Fluffy here to Mega. Last time we did this, it did not go so well. I got Pain Giver at Mega when I needed Spellproof. So with this one, the pet already failed, but it still has the... If it gets Mighty, it's essentially the other pet, but with better damage. So it could still be... It will still be very helpful in this battle. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, would you farm for those jewels? I farmed I farmed a bunch of different mobs. I farmed these mobs in Celestia to try to get it. I farmed uh, Fireflies in Imperia to get it. I farmed Monkey Spiders. And I just could not get a single jewel. And uh, I did get a bunch of couch potatoes, but I'm going to... All these ones that I have unlocked, I'm going to trash these. And the reason is because um, I got... So these four I got from when I was solo farming. But then these I got when I was... Because, again, I was on a time crunch and I really needed this jewel. And I was just going to do it for the jewel. And I couldn't get the jewel. So I'm not going to keep any of the stuff that I got by farming with my other wizards. Because, again, budget walkthrough, I normally wouldn't have access. So all that time I spent farming for these, um, that was extra time or that was you know that was farmed with other people with my other accounts which i shouldn't have done so uh because i was trying to get the jewels so i'm gonna get rid of those couch potatoes but for now can we get some uh ferric l's or frcl yo i got a new emote prefix we got three new emotes it's pretty sick can we get some frcl's some komodo hypes some craigasms in the chat for spell proof which is the best talent it can get or even, uh, I think Mighty is okay. Actually, 
At this point, I think Ice Away is a better talent to get than uh, th than Mighty because I don't have Ice Away. I can't socket it. Um, so, yo, Zeori, thanks so much for the tier one sub. Also, I thought I saw earlier someone also uh, tier one or prime subbed, I think. Um, I believe. Uh, maybe that was last night. I don't know. Um, but here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we, it's one more snack away. Tw tw I should have shown that before. 2091 out of 2125. One snack and it gets there. Spell proof would be insane, dude. Insane. All right. Here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, dude. Yes. Let's, let's go, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. I was, bro, I was literally, I needed to get this at Mega last time. Dark more and time, we got Komodo this. hype, Komodo hype, Komodo hype. Yo, Ice, thank you so much for the four month, uh, the, the four month resub. I really appreciate it. For, or sorry, the five month prime resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, dude. Look at that, dude. It's so amazing. Oh, if only I got Ice away, dude. This pet would have been beautiful. Dude, Ice away. Or if I, here, do I have any selfish jewels? Do I have any selfish jewels? I want to know. I mean, I'm still gonna. If I don't, yo, uh, Yuriak, Yuri I Kira, I appreciate the Twitch Prime sub. But thanks, thank you so much, and thank you for the scam train, everyone. I appreciate it. All right. Um. So, do I have like a selfish talent? That would be kind of sick. I can't sock it. I got a spell defying, by the way, when I was farming. Um. Can I? No, um, I guess I'll, I'll socket a death giver. I, I guess a death giver is the best thing I can socket right now. Should I save it? Or I could do a death proof as well. That honestly, death proof wouldn't be a bad idea. How much, how much resist do I currently have? I have 55, dude, I'd have 65 death resist. Yevgeny uses a lot of death hits. I, I feel like, yeah, dude, a death away. Yo, Kevin, thanks for the gifted to Simply Shock. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, okay, first of all, let me equip this ring so I have a little better idea. So, dude, honestly, getting Death Dealer was not bad. Yo, 90 resist. That's not, that's honestly not bad, dude. That's, that's really good. I think we'll be able to do the Evgeny strategy. I'll explain it. By the way, shout out to D-Whips. I, I was struggling to come up with a strategy. I was obviously testing out on a different wizard to see, like, what I would do with a different setup. Because, again, I had to completely throw my old strategy out of the book because I didn't get the Professor's Boots. And it's, like, pretty much impossible to do it without the Professor's Boots. But... Uh, with D-Whips, uh, in Discord, like, dude, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in a second. But anyways, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna sock it. I'm gonna sock it, um, cause how much damage do I have? I mean, I'd be at 90 damage, but again, that damage won't make as much of a difference as Death Proof will make. Cause Death Proof, here's the thing. When he does his Death Cheat Cycle, he actually puts up a Doom. So, if I have a Death Proof, I'll actually be kind of warded against his hits. So, I'm actually gonna put on a Death Proof for this specific battle so now our stats are 86 damage 55 universal resist with 90 to ice 66 to death i have 22 flat resist in fact let me go ahead and shatter this jewel i, I feel really bad shattering a polished sun resist jewel but we'll, I'll, I'll talk about my strat in a second I'll, I'll talk about the strat in a second um so 44 flat resist with 88 to ice dude we're going in with a massive ice resist stats um so anyways I think, okay, so I guess the other thing that I did off stream was I, I moved all my treasure cards onto a vault account, um, onto a vault wizard. I'll, I'll do like an episode about this later, but basically uh, it, it's an account that I created. I didn't buy anything on it, not even memberships. Literally anyone can do it. Just make any, in fact, I recommend everyone do this. Um, uh, have a vault account. It's a great way to store your treasure cards because for whatever reason, there's no such thing as a treasure card vault in this game. So... When you're maxed out on treasure cards, you, you, you kind of have no way to do it except, you know, putting it on a vault account. So that's what I did. And I get, I only have like basically some of the essential TCs. And then I guess I got a few more from when I was doing some farming. So I pre-enchanted Scarecrows and Call of Krulus. By the way, someone in one of my videos recently, um, they, they asked me how I did this. They said, you know, can't you not pre-enchant anymore? Well, you can still pre-enchant. Uh, you just, as you can see, there's a no PVP symbol on them, and you can't pre-enchant rank 1 and rank 2, like, low pip spells. Uh, 1 pip or 2 pip, you know, the basic spells that you get. Yo, KP, thank you so much for the 100 cheers, I appreciate it. Komodo thank you. hype, FRCL, Komodo hype. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. FRCL for sure, dude. Um, anyways, okay, so, yeah, I have all the, I have everything, 
And, dude, I, I think we're ready. I mean, okay, you know what? I guess, real quick, okay, everyone go to Scarecrow Realm and go to Graveyard. I'll be waiting there. I'll turn on chat bubbles. You know, we always do this. Make sure to give me a good luck wish right before I go in. And um, let me train Boomer here, who is also about to be Mega, who's the Decathlon pet. We're still going to be doing Ice Decathlon. Uh, I don't know about today. We'll see. Um, but we're making good progress on that. And also, uh, yeah, I saw that KI was about. Dude, that, that, that is huge news as well. Like, I, I, I want to talk about everything, but like, for, for now, the focus is going to be on Darkmoor. Um, but yeah. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I, I saw the whole news about KI. Um, bro, are you kidding me? The decathlon pet failed with a hearty, dude? What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, dude, I, I that I that is a shocker. That is an actual shocker, dude. FRC sad, dude. It's all good, dude. It's all good. Honestly, for Decathlon, this pet is already doing us wonders. It's already we've gotten so many 1,000 healing currents from it that an additional make cast heal doesn't make a huge difference. It's all good, dude. It's all good. You win one, you lose one. Exactly, dude. Honestly, getting spell proof on this pet that's literally the best talent I could have gotten. The only way this could have gotten better is if I got. Um, obviously if I didn't get Death Dealer and I got Mighty and then if I got, you know, an Ice Away and then I socketed that and then I'd have 100% resist to Ice and it would be even easier to do this strategy, but honestly, 90 resist, I think that should be enough. Um, again, there's no guarantee, but, uh, here we go. Alright, I'm sure people are waiting there. Scarecrow Realm once again, go to Graveyard. We're gonna solo. We're gonna solo Dark War. How much Pierce does Yevgeny have? Yevgeny has 55% base Pierce, Universal. And then when he does his cheats for Myth and Ice, he has an additional 20% pierce. So he's hitting, or is it 20 or 25? I don't know. He's hitting with 75 to 80 pierce, bro. So, uh, yeah, you need, I mean, this right here is for the minions. Because the problem is the minions also have 25% base universal pierce. and But they only use ice hits. But the thing is, once Yevgeny does his ice cheat, which is his first cheat that he does, he puts up that 20 or 25% pierce bubble, Dark, more and the minions have 45 to 50 pierce, which is actually nuts. Yo, Mono, Mono Bear, thank you so much for the 100 cheers. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so, anyways, we're going to make the deck setup once we get inside. Um, of course, I have all my TCs ready. I've, I've literally everything prepared at this point. I have jewels. Real quick, before we go in... Um, Actually, I'll talk about since we're gonna be changing up the the, the gear for d depending on what battle we're in. Um, I'm actually going to. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna really quickly. I'm gonna go. I I should have done this. I I not that I'll need it, but I'm gonna go and refill my potions. I shouldn't. I shouldn't need to refill potions. Yo, Kevin, thanks for another gifted to Mono Bear. Uh, I really appreciate it. And RSK on, thanks for the thousand cheers, dude. I appreciate it. One thousand bits. That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Y'all are insane. Four head, one thousand, dude. All right, here we go. Potions. All right, now we're officially ready. So I'll explain the different gear setups and we'll see. You got a conductor badge? Hey, there you go. Oh yeah, we, we had a yeah, we had the scam train earlier. What's up, Sob? How you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, dude, I remember you, dude. How how you been, bro? How's life been treating you over the past few months? I remember you from the summer, dude. It's good, that's good. Alright. You saw the notification clicked immediately? Dude, this is this is gonna be insane this is the most di in my opinion dude of all the essential battles in the game i don't think there's a single fight that is more difficult than the fights that you do in this dungeon right here specifically the yevgeny fight maybe the shane von shane fight um i think uh i think king detritus which i consider that an essential fight is easier devour i wouldn't say that's an essential fight so i'm not going to count that but i i think this fight is going to be harder than titan's trident and by the way, I'm talking about the level that you have to do it. Obviously, if you're at level 130, 140, this is not a super difficult dungeon to do. But at the level that you have to do it at, in my opinion, most difficult fight. So, anyways, if everyone can gather around, gather around, gather around the uh, arc or the sigil. Everyone gather around. I appreciate, I appreciate the uh, the good luck wishes. Uh, good luck, Farrick Daily. Check to see what this is. Oh yeah, the the, the pog champ, the new. New Pog Champ. They they change that every day. Obviously, we're Komodo hype gang here. Um, but yeah, 
Which realm was that? We're in Scarecrow realm right now. Scarecrow. So, in Darkmoor, we have three battles. I, I technically four, but we're gonna do three for now. We're, I'm, I'm gonna see if, if I have time. We'll, we'll see about Aphrodite solo. But for now, we're doing these three battles. We have Yevgeny Night Creeper. We have Shane Von Shane Star Edition, which is honestly a jacked up version of the Death One that we fought earlier. And then we have Malastare the Undying Shadow. Uh, wait, do I have Doom and Glooms? I better have Doom and Glooms. Yes, I do. Okay. I was fully prepared. I came fully prepared to this. Anyways, thank you all for all the good luck wishes. I appreciate it. Komodo champs, Komodo, Komodo hype, uh, represent. Anyways, here we go. Oh, yeah. Open ports. Oh, yeah. I, uh, why are my ports? Uh, allow friend teleports. All right. There we go. We'll, we'll give it another minute. Uh, did I get the amulet? Yes, I did. So, uh, for this first battle, the gear setup, we're going to go with Crocopatra, Oblivion, Fez, Bone Smasher, Robo Strafe, Poseidon's Boots. These four pieces of gear, Headmaster, Doom Staff. Skyrim Hasa works just as well. It's literally the same thing. Um, but um, these four pieces of gear, I will not change, and I won't change this either. Blade of the Felled Titan, obviously with our 5% universal accuracy, 6% pierce uh, health as well. I, I literally added, I literally did that, that tournament that I want, I bought another 95 health opal. And even though it only gave us three health, I wanted to make sure we have the absolute maximum stats. Um, Death Seeker's Talisman with the two flat resist jewels. Obviously, I don't know where I got that ice one, but I have one, which is amazing. Hopper Ring of Set Spine Chills. This is going to be specific for this battle. Obviously, Set Ice Resist uh, is extremely important. Uh, but then we're going to move back to the Alpha and Omega Ring for the rest of the battles. Magnificent Fluffy. I forgot to rename the pet. We'll rename it after the battle. We'll see. And then I have my other pets here. Lulu specifically we're going to be using for the other two battles we got uh, or actually it depends I, I might actually no I'm probably not going to use baby boomer uh, proud lion no stat boosting mount and lord of death's hand stats 5332 health we're going to have more with our other setup damage is 86 for now we're going to have like around 110 I believe resist 55 90 to ice 66 to death 44 flat with 88 to ice again this is going to be 57 universal with uh, 59 to shadow Accuracy 21. We're never gonna fizzle. Even Krulu. Oh, am I hitting the friends? Oh, whoops. Uh, I forgot to do that. Whoops. Thanks, 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 thanks. All right. While I'm explaining, you have you have a chance, y'all. You have a chance. Okay. Accuracy 21. We won't fizzle anything, including called Krulu, which we got last stream. That's an 80% spell right there. As are all shadow enhanced spells and other new spells as well. And then we have our critical rating, which is 352. That's a lot of critical. That should be enough to uh, pretty much crit all the time and uh, also do a decent amount of damage with the crit multiplier. Block rating, honestly, is pretty trash, but, you know, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Once I get the Malastare boots at the end of this dungeon, I mean, I'm not going to get it. I'm not guaranteed to get them at the end of this dungeon, but once I do the soul, obviously, I'm going to farm for the Malastare boots. It's going to be pretty hype. Um, we're going to try to get more universal block. Um, armor piercing, 21%. That's a lot of armor piercing. Um, we need that though because Yevgeny has 30% death resist and um, it's not worth using prisms on him. You have to find out a better way and the better way here is the 21 pierce. Healing in and out doesn't matter. We're not going to be using normal heals. Power pips 100% decent shadow pip rating. Anyways, these are the stats we're going into Yevgeny with. Um, and anyways, here we go. We're going to jump into things right now. Um, as, as I always do, clear the way. I will now attempt this solo. Oh yeah, that's right. By the way, before I go in chat, before I go in, uh, votes. The voting for the next wizard, I I'm gonna announce this on YouTube as well, it closes this Friday. So Balance is currently in the lead, don't vote for Balance. Uh, vote for Ice or Fire, those two are very, very close to each other. Uh, I'm gonna close the channel point reward uh, this, uh, this Friday and then uh, that YouTube will then have two weeks to vote and the reason is because I want to I want to know early on what the next school is gonna be so I can you know uh, figure that figure that out um, but again the way the voting works is the two schools that are that have the most votes at the end those are the two that are gonna be on the YouTube vote and then on YouTube the actual winner between those two is gonna be the next wizard oh my goodness we're actually getting a couple myth votes today all right, call me Alan with the myth votes. We got a bunch of ice votes. Okay, looks like a lot of people want ice. Looks okay. We got a lot of ice votes. Anyways, uh, yeah, Cam is Cam is doing an amazing job at keeping track of the votes for me. Um, so, anyways, oh, we got a fire vote, a myth vote, uh, a balance vote. Anyways, uh, let's just jump into things here. 
Here we go. 10 seconds. I appreciate all the good luck messages. Everyone, thank you. Here we go. This is this is the most difficult thing I've attempted on Michael Silver Flame. It is not going to be easy. Now, we're going to do something. And let me real quick uh, just go to this. Really quickly, um, I'm going to be explaining something that we will be doing. Uh, there is RNG in this. And um, in, in, in the first two battles, I'm going to be fleeing. Now, again, fleeing does not count as a death if I do it at the beginning of the battle. Um, but I need to make sure I draw the right cards right away. And for Yevgeny, I need to see what spell he uses first turn. Uh, and I need, also need to make sure I draw the right spells first, uh, you know, first try or whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, originally I was going for like a quick strategy, but then thanks to D-Whips, uh, off stream, both of us, we, we figured we came up with like a strategy and uh, honestly it was all thanks to him suggesting that I use Empower and Empower is honestly an insane spell. You're going to see exactly why. So the way this boss works is he has two separate cheat cycles. One of them, he does every five turns, he hits you for a ton of damage. One of them, he hits you every three turns for a ton of damage. And eventually, those two cheat cycles overlap hits, and that, that makes his battle very, very difficult. And then on top of that, he has minions that do a ton of damage and spam overtimes on you. Long ago, we were the most loyal and cunning battle mages to pledge our wands to the House of Drake. Let's turn the dialogue up a bit. We served Vladen Drake until we fell in the Great Wars. Now, we serve his son in our afterlife. Either way, Wizard City will forever be our enemy. Alright, so, basically, what the strategy will be is we're gonna be using empower to get pips a lot we're gonna have a ton of resist and i'm gonna use brace so like i said the ice minions have 25 percent pierce uh they're gonna be able to do a lot that's that's gonna give them a lot with the 90 resist i'm gonna be down to 65 so to counter that a little bit i'm gonna be using fortifies now i'm gonna pack 15 of them because uh honestly this battle won't take that long even though it's gonna be a quote-unquote long strategy it's still i still have to finish it off in a relatively short amount of time otherwise i will end up dying i'm gonna pack 10 scarecrows and this is all i'm gonna pack in sideboard then in main deck i'm going to pack a bunch of empowers these are insane use a, a fail pip to get some more stuff you can also clear off faints during his faint cheat cycle with this um so we're gonna pack plenty of these uh i'm gonna carry stun blocks now conviction is normally what people use but because i need to use brace to protect my ice resist um I can't use Brace, Brace, Brace and Conviction at the same time. So I'm going to be using Stun Blocks. It's also going to help me build Pips to Scarecrow or Krulu. Um, so I will be doing that. And then I believe, yeah, we're going to be carrying Maxed Out Faints. And uh, basically what I need, what I need to do is I need to get two open shots with double faints to be able to kill him in the long run. And I also need to make sure I, I stay healed up at all times. And then just to make sure I don't... Uh, discard uh too many things um too many like empowers or faints um i need to make it to because you know i need to pull from tc so um and i need to make sure i have a brace up pretty much at all times otherwise i'm gonna take a ton of damage so i'm gonna carry i'm gonna pack a, two scarecrows a krulu and two enchants as a matter of fact i think i actually carry one scarecrow and two krulus because uh i get extra damage by having colossal enchanted krulu than having uh gargantuan enchanted krulu so doesn't make a huge difference but um this is the deck setup we're gonna go with so again i will be doing some form of uh like you know fishing for f fishing but like normally you'd fish for first turn but in these first two battles you're guaranteed first turn so i'm gonna be fishing for a good starting hand that's what i'm gonna be doing and again that does not count towards deaths uh any plan on ever plan on using single hits i mean not for battles like these definitely no like uh, honestly for this battle like, a single hit would be... What would a single hit even be? I mean, my strongest hit is... I mean, yeah, it's Dr. Von's monster, but it only does... It only does a little bit more than Krula, and it costs way more pips. And then, like, other than that, I don't have very strong hits. And blades are just not a great idea in this battle, because he stuns you for using blades. So, um, yeah. Not gonna be using single hits. But this is the deck setup. We're gonna be trying to do Yevgeny. I'm, we're, gonna, we're just gonna jump into things, and I'll explain the strat as we go, kind of. 
Uh, I could spend forever explaining it. But here we go. Yevgeny Night Creeper. Can we get our first death right here, right now? Or could we get it through without dying once? Again, we've already gone through the stats. Let's jump right into it. Predictions? I'm not going to do predictions yet. Enchant? What enchant? What are you talking about? Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I, I didn't pull a stun block anyways, so I'm, I'm going to flee. What do you mean enchant? Oh, chat. Don't worry. Don't worry, chat. Oh my goodness. I, I thought I thought it was for guys. It doesn't matter. If, even if I forgot it, it wouldn't have mattered. I'm, these are mainly for discarding, so I have stuff to discard. This is literally just here. So I can discard stuff. I don't I don't need to carry like chat. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, chat. I don't need three and uh, in fact, that's probably gonna clog my hand and make me not pull what I need. So I'm I I know what I'm doing, chat. Why not wand hits? Uh, well, because wand hits are actually useless. Like at least if I pull these, they could end up being useful at some point in the battle. But wand hits are 100% useless in this battle. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go dude i was i was so confused i was like what, am, am i forgetting something like crazy like what am i doing and then no i'm not forgetting anything all right well dude i need to pull a stun block hello give me give me a stun block dude come on yeah chat dude <laughs> bro <laughs> chill out chill out bro like dude I, I was like yo how am i if i'm messing up this early then it's not gonna go too well all right Come on, just just give me a stun block, bro. Just give me, man. Just just give me a stun block, dude. I get it first. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's put in two more because I'm not pulling them for whatever reason. Come on, dude. You're wait. You're wasting my time out here, dude. I just need a stun block first turn. Yeah, I pack. I don't want to pack too many because I only need like one or two for the entire battle. They don't stun that often, believe it or not. I just don't want to get stunned the first turn. All right, there we go. Finally, I guess. I guess that was a trick. Okay. Gonna enchant the faint. Pulled our fortify first turn. We're gonna stun block because I'd rather take extra damage first turn from their ice hits. I right, did not get monster mashed. You can tell when you get monster mashed because the angle on him will change um, when he's doing that spell. And monster mash is honestly a very, it's a very interesting spell in this battle. Um, it does an insane amount of damage. If you get hit with a monster mash, it's like, it's actually, it's usually a bad thing. Oh, there we go. Well, stun blocks are definitely useful. Hey, dude, if they both get taken off this first turn, I'm going to be really upset. Because he can use Medusa. Um, and they really stun me. Like, I think this will just be tragic if they just take off both first turn. Yo, please don't frost giant. Okay, good. All right, I guess I'm okay with this. Conviction? No. It, it, we're not using conviction. I need to use brace. I can't use conviction and brace at the same time. I'm not going to be reading too many messages uh, from chat that are like, you know, like I appreciate the help, but trust me, I've done an insane amount of planning with this solo right here, this solo run. So I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. That iron resist doing work. Honestly, like that's with 25 pierce. So that's only 65 resist right now. Once I put up this uh, brace, I'm actually, dude, I'm actually going to take zero damage with this brace, I think. Because my flat, I have 88 flat resist. That's actually crazy. Turn the music up? All right. We'll, we'll turn the music up. Why not? All right. But anyways, um, yeah, he's going to hit us. So at the end of next turn, he's going to hit us with his first cheat cycle, which is the every three turns one. And then he, at the end of every three turns. And then the other cheat cycle is at the beginning of every five turns. So, um, yeah. They can't hurt you right now. Yeah, wait. Let's, let's see. How much How much do they do? This is the... Like, I've never tested out the strategy with this much flowers. Okay, wow, that actually did a lot. What? That actually did a ton of damage. Okay, anyways. um, So, I'm going to empower because uh, I, I know I know it's going to, like, waste a pip, kind of. But, um, because, I like, I'm going to be at full pips and then I'm not going to gain a new pip next turn. But I, th I think it's I think it's worth it. I'm probably going to like double faint him or something here. All right, let's see what he does. Okay, this is a Kulu. No, it's a Dr. Mons monster. Um, you know what? I prefer this over a Kulu uh, because it like damage per pip is wise. It's I'm pretty sure it's lower than Kulu. So although I, w I do like it when he uses a shadow pip because the word honestly, the things that could kill this run 
are one, you know, him just doing so much damage, getting super unlucky with the amount of damage he does and dying. Um, and two, him shielding so much uh, that you don't get an opportunity to get two double fainted open hits on him. And also a crit block could technically kill this battle too, but he has a low chance to crit block. So, okay, they're not, as long as I can keep one stun block up, I'm good for now. But I, I, I need to make sure I don't get stunned this battle. Yeah, three damage around, dude. This flat resist is OP. This flat resist is putting in so much work combined with the, the, the set resist as well. It's really good. Although, again, like the damage that you take from this battle, like even if you block out all ice hits, you still take, like watch, look at how much this does for free. This is free damage right here. Just watch this. Bam, 600. And that, that scales up. That scales up. So like, yeah. Um, okay, so this is turn four. So he's going to A-bomb me next turn. So I'm actually going to empower again. And that's going to get me even more pips. Um, but basically, when he A-bombs the first time, he's going to have a shield. So I don't want to hit... I don't want to use faints on him when, I'm, when my hits are going to do no damage anyways. So I'm actually going to empower for more pips here. All right, how much are these doing again? They're doing like three damage. Yeah, 33. They, they do varying amounts of damage. So... Right, I should only have two fail pips. Or actually, only one fail pip now. So I'm going to get two, and then it's going to convert one of those to a power pip. Yep, there we go. One fail pip. And yeah, I am wasting pips kind of, but again, I don't want to... I want to make sure I time my, my hits at the right time. I want to use my Scarecrow. So okay, at the beginning of next turn, he's going to do his A-bomb cheat. Now, he has 55 base Universal Pierce, but then his A-bomb cheat, he puts up an Ice Blade, an Ice Trap, and actually the minions just put up an Ice Trap on me, so that's actually going to boost up his A-bomb even more a 20% pierce bubble and it does like I mean at this point it's gonna do like 1700 damage maybe although I do have better ice resist than I did and I had last time I did this so we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and use scarecrow here because he's gonna a bomb me I would like to heal up a bit I'm gonna discard one of the feints because I want to pull up another brace I'll discard one scarecrow there we go I want to make sure I have a fortify up because my fortify runs out it next turn at the yeah at the end of next turn so i want to make sure i refresh it all right let the cold wind destroy you so i actually got kind of unlucky here with the minions using an ice trap right before that that honestly boosts damage by a lot but um again i'm using scarecrow should get me the full health none of the minions have tower shields i should be good here for now for now so what i'm probably gonna do is uh fortify faint twice and then hit maybe i'm not i'm not 100 sure basically the most damage he does in like a single like turn is with this next myth cheat cycle because he does his because his that's where his uh his two cheat cycles overlap so he does his his uh um shift cheat cycle where he shifts into like he polymorphs into other minions and or other things and hits you other previous dark more bosses and hits you um, that happens at the end of a round, but then his other cheat cycle happens at the beginning of the round. So at the end of round 9, he shift octangs you, and at the beginning of round 10, he does his myth cheat cycle where he puts up a balance blade, a myth blade, a myth trap, and then, uh, saga of legends, or saga of heroes, whatever it's called, that gives 20% myth pierce. So, again, he's hitting with 75% myth pierce, and I only have around 75 resist when I have a fortify up, so it's actually kind of crazy, but... We're looking pretty good so far this battle, I have to admit. Um, it's it's a pretty good start. We didn't get, like, I mean, it could have been better, but we didn't get both of our stun blocks removed early on. I would like to pull another stun block soon, because there is a chance that the minions could use Frost Giant soon. He can use Legendary Triant, he can use Medusa, he can use Basilisk. There's a lot of stuff he can do, honestly. So I do have to be careful. Um, but for now, I am I'm, I'm doing okay. How's today's stream? It's going very well. How are you doing, Acer Race? It's going pretty well so far. But again, nothing is finalized until I can manage to get a double fainted Krulu off on him, which does around like 9,000 damage. Uh, I need to get two of those off to win this battle because that does 18,000. At that point, I can just spam normal scarecrows and whatnot. One or two of them should do the trick. But um, again, like I, I really have to hope he doesn't do that, that set shield. It, it is kind of annoying. I probably should have packed some death prisms in case he does do that. In case he does his normal death shield. But the thing is, he could also A-bomb. So, like, I don't know if I want to try to counter that one specific thing. 
so. Alright, refreshing that fortified because this is the last turn of it. I think I hate passes fights and minions leave this uh, place cheat. Yeah, so you can't shield. You can't shield at all in this battle because he steel wards, but then his minions steel ward right after. Oh, sorry. Did I say shift Octong? I meant... So shift Octong actually happens on the first cheat cycle, but when he does his uh, myth cheat cycle, he actually uses shift Blackwater, which does the most damage, Which and it actually, it actually does like a ton of damage. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, here I'm going to... I did not pull in power. I'm going to discard here because I want to try to pull in powers. Uh, I'm going to double faint and I'm going to, hopefully he doesn't, if he set shields, uh, it's going to be really annoying because like that literally halves my damage. Set shield or even an A-bomb, either of those two things really, really hurt me. So, we'll see. But yeah, that, so this was turn seven. Next is going to be turn, okay, dude. Well, that's really bad. That That's very, very bad for me. Um... Because I need to do enough damage before his minions are dead. But now if I use another Scarecrow, I'm pretty sure his minions are just dead. And I can't I can't survive on drains when it's just him alive. It becomes too difficult to survive the drains then. Yeah, no, Weaver in PvE is just as annoying PvP. And dude, this hit right here is going to do a lot of damage. That was... So, this minion's hitting with 65% pierce... Or 60... 55 to 60% pierce right now. And he had two blades. And he used his he used his six pip AoE uh, frostbite instead of the normal one. The six pip AoE one. I'm pretty sure it does like more than the normal frostbite. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna faint again, but I'm gonna use the same faint. That way I'm like not wasting turns or like using stuff on the incorrect turns. Um, okay, so that was round seven. Or no, that was yeah, that was round seven. So this is round eight. So do this. And then next round, I want to Scarecrow because he's going to use his uh, other cheat cycle thing. And I want to make sure I... Um, I want to make sure I heal up before he does that. Because with that cheat cycle, he, he does the two cheat cycles overlap. So he does basically like 4,000 damage for free. Yeah, wow. That Frostbite is doing 205 through 90 resist plus a brace plus 88 flat resist. That's crazy. Now, nah, V-Plague is not useful in this battle. Your pips are super important. You need to make sure you have pips to hit, like, pretty much at all times. Oh, is this a Krulu? Okay, that's uh, that's actually very good for me. Because uh, he used up all his pips. He didn't A-bomb again. If he A-bombed again, I probably would have just fled. But how many is he on a scale from 1 to 10? Uh, we'll, we'll say about an 8. It would be a 9 if I was actually immune. And then if I was super immune, which is like... I, and, and, and a battle like this, being super immune is actually very important. You know, if it's another tower shield, I wouldn't mind. Okay, I, okay well... Actually, I prefer that because um, I think the minions tank now, and I want the minions to be alive because that's basically my those are my HP. That's my HP sack right there for the minions. Yeah, I have 90 resist to ice plus I have a brace. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna discard one. I need to pull a brace again. Um, I'm not gonna do anything right now, but yeah, I'm gonna scarecrow. But I need to pull a brace next turn because this thing runs out. Um, so let's do this. Let's heal up for full health. Yeah, Lulu TCs are pretty good, but I don't want to use Lulu yet. I want to save a Lulu for when I can get a, a wide open double fainted hit on him. Right now he has a super protected. He has he has double shields right now. He has a, a tower shield and then a legion shield. Man, there's still one round of that 205 over time left on me. It's honestly, it's really like This first part of the battle is really annoying because like, this whole battle is just, like with this strategy, the battle is still super annoying because one, for the first like, you know, many rounds. He has like a ton of pierce from his minions, a ton of damage, and then his myth cheat cycle comes up and that's a ton of damage. But then after that, shortly after that, um, his minions end up dying. So sure, he doesn't do as much damage anymore, but then you have nothing to heal off of. And you know, over time with his cheats, he's gonna do a ton of damage. What happens if you blade? He stuns you. All right, just don't frost giant me. If none of them frost giant me, I'm good. If they do uh, hit, then that's pretty bad for me. 
Okay, wait, that's good. All right, I'm probably gonna stun block if I can't pull the um the fortify. I'm, I might just stun block first. Yeah, fear the block water. This is his most powerful of his moon cheat cycle. Now his moon cheat cycle resets because it's every three rounds and he uh he has three different like things in his in it, three different cycles or whatever. Okay, 920 through a ton of resist. That does. I'm pretty sure that does like 1200 normally. All right, let's get rid of one stun block. There we go. Pull the fortify. Um, I think it's a better idea to fortify first because they have a lot of pips. They have blades. They have double. This one has double blade. If they, if they get even one round of overtime on me, it's, that could do a ton of damage. So, I'm gonna block this. All right, crush my enemies. Yep, this is his myth cheat cycle. It's a good thing he see keeping his minions alive this late is a good thing because there's a there's a, a, a there's a three there's a 75% chance that he's gonna cast it on his minions instead of himself. And that blocks out a decent amount of damage. Not not a crazy amount, but like it's, this is still gonna do a lot. It's still gonna do like I think 1700, but better than nothing. Not Blackwater, bad memories, dude. Blackwater, I I'm still shocked at how much I struggled on that battle. I thought that was gonna be the I thought part one is gonna be so easy. I don't even have to worry about it. And it ended up taking me. I, I died zero times on part two. I died twice. On part one, I mean, I didn't die, but I failed twice, which counts as a death. And, um, yeah. Okay, uh, here's the good thing about, uh, like, post-Myth Cheat Cycle. Um, his minions no longer have Ice Pierce. So, there we go, 205, that's gone. I have my insane Ice Resist again. And, uh, yeah. We're looking okay right now. Okay, this is a... What is this? Oh, that's a, a Pierce Blade, okay. I... I really hope he doesn't use the moon shield. The moon shield is the most annoying thing that can happen. Wait, that minion tower shielding, that's actually might be really good for me. Because then I might have a minion longer for an extra an extra round of overtiming. Even one minion being alive for an extra turn of, you know, me hitting is a very, very good thing. Alright, I'm going to enchant one of these. I'm going to stun block... Yeah, I'm actually... No, nah, I don't need a stun block right now. I'm going to faint. Actually, no. I'm going to empower, then faint. Okay, another good thing about the minions being alive, by the way. Um, their overtimes take off these faints. Which is really nice. Alright, depending on how much damage... Okay, so this was the first round of his death cheat cycle so depending on how much damage i take uh i'm going to faint before i hit with crew loot okay how much does this do it, it really depends it all comes down to this pretty much because if i can tank a shift cheney then uh that's really good for me because then i get a double fainted scarecrow or a, a double fainted crew one that will heal me up to full health obviously but Actually, it's going to be double fainted, but then he also puts up faints, but they're a different kind of faint. So I'm going to be hitting with three buffs. It could do almost 10,000 damage, which is huge. All right, but for now, yeah, yeah let me, I'm going to faint Krulu. Then I'm going to, Um, I don't want to discard too many faints. I've discarded a lot of faints already, so I'm not going to discard anything for now. Let's faint him. It decimate me again, but the overtimes are taking that off. I think he's gonna shift. He's gonna chainy me this turn. But again, I have a I have a fortify up. Like the chainy only does 600. I mean, with a pierce blade, maybe he does seven eight hundred. But um, again, like I should be fine. Free plus. Well, no, it's not a free plus 75. So he does a 75 to me, but then it's only a 20 percent on him. But that for that 20 percent does do quite a bit. If he doesn't moon shield or tower shield here, uh, I pretty much win the battle. Because getting one gigantic hit on him is huge. So, we'll see. Oh! That is a very juicy move. So it's not about the damage as it is about the pip removal. So I just empowered.
but I end up losing those pips anyways. So all the pips that I just gained from that, I, I lost a pip this turn, I think. Because I spent a pip to get two more, but then he took away three. So that's actually not so good for me. Yeah, I only did 510, and again, I'm, I'm going to use Cruel anyways, but that Lord of Winter could come back to bite me later on when I don't have as many pips. Okay, so he's used that cheat uh, a couple times on me. I'm going to get rid of one in power. I need to pull a brace soon, so I'm going to Krulu now. Um, and that should do a, a ton of damage. All right, he did not use Monster Mash. Yo, Ikta, thanks for the seven month. The tier three. Oh my goodness, the tier seven three. Months seven month resub, Good dude. Luck on I appreciate it. Thank you. Dude, I, I, I changed up the, the sub badges a bit. And um, the, I think the nine month and the 12 month sub badges look really, really sick now. First cast. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the first Krulu cast. Oh, it almost two. That's right. They, they did change it. So I guess I didn't lose any pips. I guess it's, it's, it was as equivalent as me passing, I guess, but I did take extra damage, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll see. All right, this is a massive hit right here. Bop! Ooh, nine. <laughs> I said bop, dude. Doesn't Sauce say that all the time? All right, 9,000. Oh, no, the minion died. Dang it. Ooh, that's... It's very good that I used this hit before he did this. But I need to like empower like crazy right now. Because I need a lot of pips. I, first of all, I need pips to take out this shield. And then I'm going to have to empower again. Yo, okay. That, that, that did nothing. Um, he's going to he's gonna cruel me next turn. Maybe the turn after. We'll see. Um, I'm going to fortify. Because I don't want to take that extra death damage. I believe next turn he does it. Uh, yeah, okay, next turn he does it. His death cheat cycle. Thankfully, with his death cheat cycle, he puts up a doom, which I guess if you're a healing school, like, you use normal heals, that's pretty bad, but for me, that's good, because I have set death resist, kind of, and it doesn't give him any extra pierce. Oh, okay, that's actually good to do that now than doing it later, because I was going to use, like, a scarecrow at some point anyways to um get rid of the shields, so... I'm going to stun block, Scarecrow, and then I'll probably empower again. Or I might empower and then Scarecrow. Honestly, I should have empowered this turn and then stun block. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. All right. Klatu Barada Nikto. I don't know what that means, what language that is. Whatever, but it's a Krulu. It's a 75 thing. It's a blade. It's a trap. Sure, he has no no additional pierce, but it's still going to do a lot, dude. It's still going to do a lot. Yo, HGTV200. Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. And thanks for the follow as well. And it's followed and subbed immediately, dude. Never seen that cheat? Yeah, it's because I, I know I, I last time I did this on my other death, I didn't even let it get to this cheat cycle. Because if it got to this cheat cycle, I was pretty much dead. But yeah, the, the, the problem is this does heal him up for a bit as well. So, yeah, 1500, dude. 1500, and then he heals for 700. And then I think he's also going to do his uh, shift cheat this turn. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Spanish, really? Okay. All right, so I have to hit him within like three turns. Otherwise, he gets to his A-bomb cheat cycle. <laughs> okay, he uses pips. All right, I'm going to Scarecrow, Empower, Double Faint, Brace, then hit. Actually, I might not even do this. Is actually, not looking good. I might have to ignore using Fortify again because I don't think I have enough time. He's going to use A Bomb Cheat in a couple turns. Scarecrow and Power, Double Faint. Oh, wait. Yeah, I actually don't have any time. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to Krulu. All right. This takes off the, the double shield. I just, I, I don't like this too much because, like, I, I might just have to single faint him, dude. This is not looking good. All 
All right, we'll do that. Then I'll empower because I need the pips. Dude, that Lord of Winter... Dude, I would have had two more pips. I could have just double fainted and then Krulu. Look at my shadow gauge. I would have had enough to just double... To just Krulu, but... Now I don't because this is round two. Now round three, but then I have to hit him on round four. So, yeah, this is looking really bad. So far. I got the shadow pip. I don't need any more stun blocks. You know, I'll, I'm not even gonna fortify for now because I just need to do damage to him. Oh man, he has pips to a bomb. If he a bombs, dude, I I probably just lost. Uh, yeah, I'll see that. Yo, know, please don't. Whatever you do, use anything, but just don't a bomb me. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Alright, this this black water is gonna do a lot. I had no brace. That's okay. I, I get a ton of health from the Krulu. Okay, we'll see. One second. Ouch. Okay. Um Krulu should do like four or five thousand. Which should keep me alive for the A-bomb cheat, but like what do I do after that? Yikes. This is this is not looking good, dude. This is not looking good. Alright, boom. Death bubble helping? No, it doesn't. It's just a faint. Or it's, it's just a doom and gloom. It's not a pierce bubble. He boosted on you? That's because I don't have resist or whatever. Yeah, see, if, if it was a pierce bubble, he would have zero resist right there. Because I have 21 pierce, he has 30 death resist. But it's not. Alright, here's the A-bomb cheat now. You know, I'm going to fortify. But like... Dude, this is this is not looking good. I gotta be honest. His A bomb is doing basically two thousand, and then I mean it's gonna be close, chat. It's gonna be very close. I got unlucky. I haven't gotten monster mash to prevent one of his cheats at all this battle. Fortify faint and crow. I mean I have to double faint because. Um, He's gonna do too much damage to me. I need, I need to fortify, empower, faint, faint, crow, and then, I, dude, I, I honestly don't know what I do here. Yeah, he's hitting. He's pretty much piercing through all my resists with this. No, I don't need reshuffles. It's not about reshuffling. And also, if even if I did have reshuffling, like you couldn't live to reshuffle. All right, 1400. So I, like, I do have some resist. But we'll see. Okay, he's gonna do his shift cheat right now, right? Or is that next turn? No, he's maybe we'll see. Oh, please don't be Okay, that's fine. Um Yeah, that's okay. Just don't crit and I'm fine. Because I have I have double stun blocks. Okay, 500. But I mean it's still, it's still like, it's still a yikes, right? Because, like, do I tank is the question. I'm going to empower faint Scarecrow, faint Krulu. That's, I think that that can win me the battle. Dude, this is this is not looking too good for me. I gotta be honest. Okay, fear that. So it's, this is a shift Cheney. It's gonna do like 800. Um. Yeah, this is very close. This is very very close. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get a shadow pip soon, so. Okay, I, I don't think... Uh, the only thing he can kill me with is a moon hit. I shouldn't have discarded that faint. Um, Cause I don't know how many more I have left of those. I have to faint. Alright. Dude, I, I don't know if I... I don't know if a moon hit kills me. 
There's a moon hit with double buff. I mean, it does kill me. But like, I have to hope he doesn't do it. Okay, he passed. Okay, that's good. Shadow pit me. Okay, wait, wait. That's good. That's very good. Um, Discard that. Discard that. Oh, come on, dude. Not like this. Uh, I don't need the empower anymore. All right, well, I'll just... I'll Scarecrow. Scarecrow pretty much does, does, does just as much. Uh, I don't know, chat. This is not looking good. Crit. There we go. Okay, 2,500. Dude, I, I, I think I, I still died to a myth hit. There's no way I tank a myth hit. Okay, well, yeah, no, I'm dead. I mean, this won't kill me, but he's gonna kill me with his cheat cycle. Ah, oh, man, dude. So close. He has, like, such low health left. We consider doing monstrology? No. At this point, it's too late to do monstrology. Yeah, like I don't tank his uh I don't tank his Mystic Colossus cheat. I mean I'll Krulu, but like that doesn't do anything for me. Wait, hold on, wait, does he do his crew does he do his cheat now? Wait, 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 wait. He doesn't have a shield right now. How much does this do? Hold on. Yo, we did it! We did it! No deaths! Get out of here, you Evgeny Night Creeper! Get gassed, bro! Get gassed! Yeah! No deaths out here! Yeah, we did it! We handled that! Perhaps he'll bring you back to life so he can do it all over again! Get out of here! Get out of here, dude! Get out of here! Nah, we're not, we're, we're not failing that early! Alright, chat! Alright! Okay! Okay! Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right, we're we're starting off pretty strong. Um, all right, that was the deck setup. We had uh, fortifies down to here, Krulu's up to here, Scarecrow's down to here, and uh, <laughs> wow, dude, that was that was such an unlucky run because I I got Lord of Wintered, which didn't allow me to have pips that one other time. He a bombed. He A-bombed and did a set shield move earlier on, which blocked out opportunity to do extra damage. And, um, he didn't monster mash me once to prevent even one of his cheat cycles. He didn't use monster mash even once. So, despite all that, we were able to solo it. Check for Athame. I didn't get it. I didn't get the Athame, but that's okay. These are the drops I got. I got Sabat- I got these. Uh, oh, wait a minute. These are the tier two boots. Right? Or are these the tier... What, what tier boots are these? Wait, these are actually not bad. Yo! I mean, they give low resist. I'm not going to use them, but... These, yeah, these are actually the tier 2 boots. They're not that bad. They're not that bad, but... Yeah, I, I didn't think he could drop... I thought he only dropped the tier 1 boot, uh, the, the The tier 3 boots, but... These are tier 2. Um, But I'm not going to use them, but... Yeah. Alright, so... We're not we're not at the water yet. Malister is a pretty easy battle, but we still have Shane Von Shane, and this battle right here. I mean, this battle right here is probably more frustrating than Yevgeny, in my opinion. So, before I actually go in here, let me go back out. Let me equip my normal gear setup. We're gonna do Lulu and Alpha and Omega Ring. So now I have. 54 97 health 110 damage 57 resist across the board 21 accuracy 352 crit 45 block across the board 21 pierce 100 percent pip chance uh pretty nice um but this battle right here this right here is 100 percent my own strategy but it is it's it's very like unlike yevgeny where it's pretty much cookie cutter like you know you do specific things at specific times but this one you really have to think like what's the right move and also, uh, let's just say it requires even more deck pulling RNG than that. For that, 
First battle, we just had to make sure we pulled a stun block first turn. For this battle, yikes. I'll, I'll just show you what we're going to use. Um, so we're going to max out Fire Elves because Shane Von Shane also has two cheat cycles, but one of them can be avoided if he takes damage every turn. Now, the only problem with that is he healing currents every time he takes damage. So there, there's like multiple ways you can lose this battle. Even if you have so many hits, he could just get insanely lucky with all his healing, healing currents, hit like mostly max currents, and then you just can't out damage him in time. So for this battle, we're gonna carry the, okay, we're gonna carry maxed out fire elves. We're also gonna carry some unstoppables. In fact, I'm gonna carry some extra. And the reason for that is because I wanna make sure I draw these out. Like it is extremely important that I do not fizzle fire elves. I will also carry some normal fire elves in case I need more and I start running out. I also want to pack some Krulus. I'm gonna go ahead and pack 10 of them. I need to pack Death Traps because his, he, so yeah, he has that, he has his Death Cheat Cycle, which to keep that reset and at zero to prevent it, you need to keep on making sure he takes damage every turn. And Fire Elf is a good way to give me basically two rounds to buff for free. Cause again, with this battle you go for your guaranteed first turn and I kind of don't like that. This strategy is slightly worse because you're first. Um, a fire elf would give you three turns. It would give you three turns to buff up um, if you were second, because uh, then you'd hit, and then the overtime would go for th would last for three additional rounds on top of that. But with this, the overtime, the first tick hits on the same turn that you hit, so you only get two additional turns to then buff. So it is kind of unfortunate a little bit, but um, that's okay. We're, we we figure out how to do things despite all that so this is what i'm gonna carry in sideboard we're gonna be using krulu to hit um now the now for main deck so again his storm cheat cycle that thing you cannot do anything to avoid the one thing you can do to minimize it a bit is make sure you don't blade much because every time you blade he supercharges for whatever number of pips he has and it doesn't use any of his pips so that can buff his glow bugs which does a crazy amount of damage that can buff his um his cheat cycle which his cheat cycle depends on how many pips he has as well, like the actual damage he does at the end of the cycle. But like, again, th th there is a lot of RNG with this battle as well. So um, I'm going to max out death traps. I'm going to carry a bunch of uh, potent traps. And again, with how many cards we have, we could deck fail and stuff. And I want to make sure when I have. So again, I want prisms as well. Prisms, we can discard some of these because um, ideally I want to use. I, I want to have to hit him no more than like four times with Krulu. Um, but. Again, if there's something I can discard, it's probably going to be the Prisms. Um, I want to kill the minions as fast as possible, but at the same time, Shane Von Shane also needs to take an ample amount of damage. So, yo, uh, BTW, just a tip. If your mana doesn't go down when you cast a spell, it means you either died or got stunned. It's just a way to know if you're going to survive that round. Oh, okay. All right. I appreciate that. Thanks for the $3. And I didn't, actually didn't know that. That was really helpful. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I guess you don't use your pips. It either means the, like, if you're in a team battle, it means someone already killed, uh, or you died, or you got stunned, so, interesting. All right. Because I know if you fizzle, you still lose mana, um, but, yeah. Okay. So, but, yeah, so, I need four buffs. Prism counts as a buff, because he has, like, 50% death resist, but then he has life boost as well, so it's definitely worth using a prism at all times. It's almost like fainting him, basically. That's how much damage increase you get, um, overall. But, so that counts as a buff, but then I have two traps, that's three buffs total, and then with four traps, so like a prism and three traps, I, that's four buffs total, and that's that's enough for me, because like, if I hit him for any less than that, any less amount of buffs, then, um, you just, you just won't do enough damage to counteract his healing currents that he spams all the time, so, um, you need to have four buffs when you hit him, basically, um, unless like the minions are still up, then you want to make sure you survive more than trying to get as much damage on him, um, but obviously, you might not pull these sideboard TCs. You might get unlucky with these. So I am going to carry some blades. This is something I originally did not do in the past, but I will carry some blades. Again, these will become discard material if I don't need them, but I want to avoid using these. Blades will kill you this battle. His supercharge cheat, even if it's just a one pip supercharge, that one pip supercharge can boost his damage enough to just kill you. Like it's actually kind of crazy. So I'm going to try to discard these when I have the opportunity. But most importantly, I need to make sure I start off the battle with a fire elf in my hand. If I don't, I restart. And again, it doesn't count as a death if I restart. It's kind of like fishing for first turn. So anyways, uh, let's just jump into it. 400 viewers. I just, 
I just clicked it. We just hit 400 viewers. That's the first time we've hit 400 since the Waterworks oh. solo episode. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for all the follows. Bring me pizza. Thank you for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Here we go. Uh, Yevgeny, insanely close, but pulled it off with one attempt. Can we do the same thing for Shane Von Shane Von Shane Von Shane Von Shane Star Edition? And ooh, we got four Darkmoor Surfs. Hmm, let me actually ah. So right here would have been a great time to have this the Storm Ring crafted because I'm facing a quad storm team. It's too late at this point. I should have done it. I knew I should have done that. Honestly, instead of farming for all those ice away jewels, I should have farmed for. I should have tried crafting the Storm Ring and. You know, because in a situation like this where you get no myth mobs, it's really nice to have set storms. This, but it's gonna be kind of a struggle. You know, what? at this point, um, let me shatter. Since we've already soloed Yevgeny, let me shatter. It. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. I don't have any extra flat resist. I should have bought an extra one. Dang it. Well, it looks like I have I have less flat storm resist, but whatever, whatever. That's okay. We'll just we'll just jump into things. I don't want to delay too much. Let's just jump right into it. Again, I restart if I don't pull a fire elf right away. I pulled a fire elf. And I also pulled prisms, which I can actually afford to discard up to five of them. Yo, let me give me give me a oh come on, dude. Give me a Alright, well I don't want to discard the last prism because I want to keep it. Because you have to prism before you trap. I I explained in Blake's stream yesterday about how the order of stuff works. If I fizzle this, I'm also gonna count that as like just fishing. Because I couldn't pull my enchant. Okay, I didn't fizzle. So, at this point, we're locked in. We're locked in. If we die, we die. It counts. Yeah, he does He does a ton of damage with this death cheat cycle. Even even one turn of missed damage. That's a thousand damage to your head. So, crit fire elf OP. I mean, it doesn't matter in the end because he heals himself each time he takes damage. Healing current is just going to get him up to full health. Okay, well... That's a blade. That's really annoying. Now, if he uses Krulu, I'm going to take a ton of damage. That's kind of whack. Why use Fire Elf instead of Poison? Because um, we're using traps this battle. So if I use Poison, it's going to take off the, the traps that I use. That's not a good start to the battle. Getting Max bolted immediately and then getting Cataland, I could totally fizzle the next spell that I use. Um, but yeah. I would poison. If I could use blades normally with this battle, I would totally poison, but I can't. And actually, even even if I could do that, then even a blades, even with blades, I, I they they take they just get taken off, right? Okay, that's good. I don't use storm hits. All right. Um, I pulled this. Again, I have ten death traps. I won't need ten, so I'll discard one of those. Um. I'll use this. Wait, let me... I need to draw. Okay, yes. We won't fizzle our next Fire Elf unless we fizzle the Mantle. Dude, if I fizzle the Mantle, it's going to be so unfortunate. All right, let's Prism. Yo, don't let me fizzle on a 25 on a 100 accuracy spell. Thank goodness. Flee if you fizz? No, that counts as a death. I, I, I said it. Unless my Fire Elf fizzled first turn, um, I'm, st I'm just sticking through the battle. Again, we're only cycling to make sure first turn ends up well. Other, other than that, like, it's where... We're locked in. We're doing it. We're, we're full sending it. All right. Yo, I already hit got took one max bolt. Okay, good. Thank goodness, dude. I don't need to take many max bolts. That's the... With myth minions, they stun more often. But it's honestly not that bad. They rarely stun. They don't do as much damage. And they can't... They certainly cannot bolt spam you. Bolt spamming is just ridiculous. All right. Well, I'm not going to use a blade. Unless, unless I have enough health, I might use a blade if I have enough health, but dude, he has a lot of pips, bro. That's not good. Um, we'll use that, and then I'll fire elf next turn. You're super confident for Mouser? Yeah, the Mouser fight, honestly, for a death wizard at least, is insanely easy. I'll show you when, once we get there, but... Okay, what is this? Yo, please be a supercharge. Okay, no, it's just a... That's really bad that he's... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that Stormblade stacks with his uh, normal stuff. If he glow bugs us, we might just be cooked. We'll see though. Only 129. I love it when they use that move. That move does not do a lot of damage for the amount of pips it costs. 
Oh, Galvanic. Dude, if he if he bolts me with that supercharged blade, that's going to be frustrating. Alright, so next turn, he's going to hit me with his... Oh my goodness, dude. I'm, I'm guaranteed to take a massive amount of damage right here. This is not good. I can't even Krulu him. So Krulu is the only hit I carry because Scarecrow is too expensive for this battle. Alright, we'll do this. We don't need to take additional damage from his death cheat cycle, so I obviously have to do this. I might honestly just Krulu again because I I cannot afford to um, die. They have they have two they've they've not been using their pips, and he's about to hit me with his cheat cycle again. The number of pips, dude. If he glow bugs me, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm I just, I'm just dead because this glow, well this glow bugs won't kill me. Um, he has plenty of pips with his cheat cycle to kill me. Plus, he has a minion that has a lot of pips. This glow bug is doing 3k to my head. Yeah, I'm dead. Bam. Oh, only did 2k. Wait, hold on. I might be alive. Wait. It depends on what that minion does. And if I take a max bolt here, I am dead. But if I tank this turn, then I'm good because I'll just crew next turn. Ooh. Yeah, I'm cooked. Uh, hold on. Wait. Okay, I need a power, and I need that minion to not max bolt me right now. <laughs> Honestly, if I do fizzle, I should... Uh, there is a fire elf on him, so I should be fine as long as he doesn't hit me. But the thing is, he could get a shadow pip, and then he could cruel me. He could also use Lord of Night. The minions could bolt spam me. <laughs> It's not looking amazing for us. Okay, I did get the Shadow Pep, obviously. Um, I can discard one Krulu. I want to pull... Okay, I can discard two. I want to pull... Um, I'll discard a Blade as well. I really want to pull uh, an Enchant for that Fire Elf. Um, ooh, yikes. I just realized... Wait, is that the last tick of Fire Elf? Because I need to pass one turn. Okay, I powered. Good. This is going to do a decent amount of damage to the minions, but it's going to heal me up. Bam, crit. This is full health. It doesn't do enough damage to Shane. Like, what, how much does he take? Yeah, 5,000 is not enough. He's just going to heal that off. With the fire elf ticks, he's going to heal that off in time. But again, we're doing this just for the heal. Honestly, once the minions go down, Shane Von Shane himself can't do too much damage to you. You have to get really unlucky, and you have to, like, blade a ton for him to really do anything of significance to you. More intense than playoff football? Dude, this dungeon is intense, dude. This dungeon is seven years old, almost, and it is still this difficult. They've nerfed it, and it's still this difficult. Yo, if you're Storm for this battle, you could set for Storm, because... You can easily get a ton of storm immunity with a lot of resist as well, so it's honestly kind of nice. Ooh, let me enchant this. Let me pull an enchant for the fire elf. Not pull it. Uh, I'll discard one more Krulu. I don't want to discard more than that. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm going to prism. It's very good that fire elf is still on him. I'm going to prism, then fire elf, then death trap, then death trap, then uh, fire elf again, then Krulu, then fire elf, then fire elf, then fire elf. Now, Malister never had 70. I don't think he ever had 70 pierce. I'm pretty sure he always had 50. I'm pretty sure they always gave all the bosses 55 pierce. But yeah, he did have to, He did used to have 100,000 health. Dude, I love that they're storm dispel swinging me. I don't mind that at all. Keep on doing it. Waste your pips, dude. I don't... I, I'm happy. Dude, if this guy hits me with a max bolt, bro, I'm going to be sick. He, has, he still has a supercharge. He has a storm blade and he has a galvanic up. This guy is a little troublemaker. All right, so I, ha Ooh, I have all three traps this time, so I, I can do 10k to him. Um, yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good. Just need to make sure I pull my fire elves, make sure I don't fizzle anything, and I'm good. Yeah, yeah, KI, KI got bought out. Wait, Yahoo bought? No, 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 it was, uh, it was the media group, MGI, right? Yeah. Me yeah, media and games invest. And the great thing about this group acquiring them is that apparently they're known for making like free-to-play games which is a great sign for Wiz. oh come on dude really i just healed up and you're gonna bugs me again 
Dude, I got unlucky with Yevgeny. Now I'm getting unlucky with Shane, dude. I get bugs twice. Although this time it's going to do a little less. He's not going to have an extra 40% blade. 1500, not bad. Also, I think he hits me. No, no. Next turn he hits me with his cheat cycle, right? Yeah, I think next turn he hits me, but it's not going to do any damage. He has no pips. Oh, wait. No, he's not going to hit me next turn. When is he going to hit me? Well, he has low pips and he has he used up all his blades. Oh, the minions are healing. Uh, you know, I don't mind. Yo, keep on healing yourselves. I, I'd rather use your pips on those. I'm gonna one. I'm gonna cook you anyways. Okay, well, you didn't have to hit a 1,000, dude. That's that was a little bit unnecessary. Okay. Um, you have to be careful. I don't want to discard. I, I don't want to discard any more Krulus. I've already discarded plenty of them. Um, I'll use my biggest trap first. Yo, no joke, I might actually try to fire elf them next turn because I need to use two more traps anyways. But if I fire elf them a, a, an additional time, then I'm, I'm guaranteed to not fizzle a fire elf later on, which is very good for me. Can you just use up your supercharge already? Like, I'm really scared that you're going to use it on these. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind that. I'll take that 600 over a 2000 bolt any day. And as shattered, this is going to do like 400 damage maybe. He's going to do 200 to 400 damage. He literally has one pip. He only has a Galvanic. He's going to do nothing, bro. Bam! 278. Nothing. And now his cheat cycle is reset. Okay, I'm going to... I really don't want to discard a Death Trap. I'd, I'd hate to discard that, but... I feel like I have to. How many Prisms have I discarded? Uh, I don't want to discard if I only have that one Prism. You know what? Minions are dead with the next Krulu anyways, and I can afford to use blades after that, so I'll discard one of those. Um, I have plenty of those, so I'll discard one of those. One more. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna fire off. We're gonna fire off. Don't fizzle. Okay, good. I didn't fizzle. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna double trap him, Krulu, and then I need to survive a couple more turns, and the minions are dead. If he glow bugs me a third time, dude, I'm going to be sick. Yo, please just use Lord of Night. He's not he's not using that at all. He uses Lord of Night a lot when I when I did him before, and I've done him plenty of times on other wizards. He's just not using it right now. Okay, you know what? Yo, keep on healing minions. Keep on healing. I'd rather you heal, because I'm going to one-shot you anyways. Oh, that's not good. Dude, imagine I get bugs next turn with a trap on me. Wow, I need to survive two turns. How am I going to do that? I mean, if he bugs me three times in a row, that is, that is dream odds right there. Actual dream odds. Okay, let's use the biggest trap. Uh, yo, can my shadow meter speed up a bit? It's, it's kind of not really that high your shatter meter pop off just a little bit for me please all right survive two more turns and then also get a shadow pip okay wait they're passing that's good yo heal yourselves more yo use the trap please don't use it on a bolt though oh no please don't hit max oh no uh, oh no Ah, dude, three bolts, two of them hit max. One of the trap and a galvan. Oh no, dude. Uh, uh, yo, shadow meter, you better get, you better be filled next turn, otherwise I lose. Dude, this is a yikes, dude. If I get double max bolted, triple bugs. You wanna know the odds of that happening? Don't bugs me, man. Just, just Lord of Night, please. Or Krulu, yes, Krulu me. I don't care. I take a Krulu. Although I would have preferred a Lord of Night. Oh, uh, it's also a 50 blade. So this is doing like, oh, this is doing a ton. Okay, no crit. It's doing a thousand, I think. Yeah, 970. Yo, minions, be kind. Oh, that max bolt. I would have had 2,000 health right now if it wasn't for that. 
Ooh. Ooh, good. Don't do it. I'm dead. I, th I think I think I'm pretty sure this just kills me. He has double blades. It's a 30 blade. Can I tank this by some miracle? <gasps> Be nice. <gasps> All right, don't fizzle, don't fizzle, please. Uh, give me a shadow pip and don't fizzle. Yo, please. Death number 25. Wow! I get bugs twice? I get double max bolted? Yikes. Man. I have 71 Shadow Pip rating, man. Dude, the Dwargan's boots give Shadow Pip boost. I don't have those, of course. <sighs> I mean, these give me Shadow rating, but they're not worth it because I lose too much resist. Why did I flee that? Because I didn't get a Shadow Pip. He was going to kill. They were going to kill me next turn because he, he was going to use his cheat cycle to kill me at the end of that turn. No, it wasn't possible because I had 500 health left. He had a lot of pips. He had his cheat cycle. If he didn't use his pips, he'd have enough pips to kill me with his cheat cycle. He he used Galvanic Field. The turn he uses Galvanic Field, at the end of the next turn he hits you, and that was the turn he was going to hit me. So I I just wanted to save time, honestly. Well, it is what it is. If I use a tier 2 boots, uh, one, I want to have max pip chance. And for another, I will lose one accuracy which isn't bad I'll gain block I'll gain damage you know honestly it's not a bad idea but like I lose so much resist though I don't know is it worth I lose four resist bro should I just use the tier two boots yeah I guess that's true max pip doesn't matter too much 98 yeah but Dude, 53 resists. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It, it does give me... Yo, I have I only have like a 15% chance to... 16% to fizzle fire elf now. So, I guess. Also, it gives me slightly more health. So, but again, the health doesn't matter because I lose four resists. We'll see, dude. Let's jump into it. I mean, I don't know. All right. Pull the shad first turn. Uh, I discarded a death trap. I should not have done that. Um, I also didn't pull a prism, so I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt that. I want to pull a prism and a fire elf first turn. Because if you death trap without prisming, it just doesn't do enough damage. Poseidon boots look terrible, anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm done, dude. I mean, yeah, dude, these don't look bad. Honestly, dude, the Malster boots look almost exactly like this. So if you think like the, I'd have like basically the full like tier one stitch or not, not tier one like original stitch of all the gear yeah I got some I got some horrible RNG I got bugs twice with like max buffs uh, he even had the galvanic too that was insane that was actually insanely unlucky all right fire elf this man's I also have more damage which is kind of nice but yeah let's do that Any thoughts on Cab being bought? Uh, I'm super optimistic. Uh, I hope the company that bought them, uh, you know, they, they also, like, they have, like, control over a lot of things. I hope they didn't just buy it because they're investing into it, like, just as, like, an investor. But, like, actually to, like, you know, improve certain marketing things, like how expensive it is to play the game. That would be kind of nice. Yo, what's up, Vils? How you doing? Welcome. Why do you choose Fire Elf? Because it's the lowest... 
uh, off school overtime spell that is available to me. And I need to hit him every turn. Otherwise, he does his death cheat cycle, where which first turn he uses. Uh, hold on, let me real quick just focus up here. Oh, oh there's a fire elf. I'll probably discard that. Uh, I discarded a death trap, so I can discard that as well. Okay, that's good. Um, prism first, don't forget. Uh, yeah, so first turn you don't hit him. He does a vampire, which does 1,100 damage, which heals him for 550. And 1,100 damage to your face for zero pips for free is not very fun. The following turn, he Dr. Bonzi for around 900 damage. Again, another drain, another 450 heal. And again, 900 free damage is not fun. And then third turn, he uses a monster match, which is 1,200 free damage, which, again, that's 1,200 free damage, not fun. And then also beguiles you. And then he keeps on doing that forever and ever and ever. If he's not hit. But with this cheat cycle, he hisses. He doesn't do his he doesn't uh, his cheat cycle resets to round one, which is on round one he does nothing. And then uh, I guess he also healing currents, which can be bad if he gets a lot of max currents. But I mean, if that does happen, not a whole lot you can do about that. So, all right, got our Krulu. Shadow Pit meter not looking bad. Um, go ahead and use a big boy trap on him. And then I'm going to Fire Elf him again. I know a lot about this game. I mean, I've been playing for a long time, so. If I didn't know a lot, that uh, would be kind of disappointing. Because I played it for a long time. Yo, can you chill out with these sirens, man? These sirens are kind of annoying, bro. There's not even a Fire Elf on him, so I'm going to get, I'm going to take a thousand free damage if I fizzle this Fire Elf. Honestly, though, I have a higher chance of powering Fire Elf than I have of powering my death hits, I'm pretty sure, right? No, I'm not using the Storm Resist Ring. I should, but, I, like, I didn't craft it before. I'm not going to step out in the middle of a run to craft... Wait, that's a yikes. He rarely uses that. That is so unfortunate. So for this hit, it's not going to matter much at all, but... For the next hit, it does, because he's just going to take a reduced amount of damage. I only pierced through 20. So he's going to take like half the amount of damage, essentially. Um, Yikes. I have to power this, dude. I'll discard this. Can I pull a accurate enchant thingy? No. Yes. Okay. I, I, still, I could still fizzle this, dude. That's the worst part. So, okay. If I fizzle this... Does it get returned to my TC or does it get returned to my main deck? Like I'm I'm confused on that. I powered it. We don't we don't have to worry about it. Yo, Von Shane, can you use like Krulu and Lord of Night? Instead of setting on pips and try to bugs me later on? Hog, what happened? Just joined how many deaths on the Evgeny? Zero. But then I've died one time today. Oh, well. That's annoying. Oh, he used Stormlord. Wait, that's just that's that's just as bad as bugs, dude. It is slightly less, but then it stuns me. Like, he's not using his death hits, dude. I don't know why. I mean, I guess now his his thing does no damage, but it doesn't matter because he did all that damage with the Stormlord. Bro, I'm stunned. I'm going to uh, fire elf him again, dude. Alright, what does he have on him? He has a 40, he has a convert, and I'll be able to put a 35 on him. Honestly, dude, I have to put the 35 and I just have to hit him, because I need the heal back from the minions. Yeah, resist ring would help a, ton, help a ton, but no, I'm not going to restart the dungeon just to craft that. It's too late, it's too late. I should have thought about that before. 
when I do this on another wizard, you better believe I'm gonna cycle the minions until I have storm ones. And then I'm going to make sure I have over 100 storm resist. I'm gonna have a 17 storm resist ring. I'm gonna have a, 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 a quint pet. I might even pack like a piece of set resist gear. Like, bro, I'm trying to resist this battle. Oh, come on, dude. Don't just max bolt me with a plus 80. Okay, good. Dude, I would have continued attempting that last battle. If I didn't get max bolted there at the end for a thousand damage, I would have had 1500. I would have tanked his cheat cycle and I would have been fine. Yo, like, I honestly wouldn't mind if he just keeps on spamming this on me. Like, that doesn't do much. And then he can also can't, like, you know, use, like, a bugs or anything. It also prevents him from having a super buffed up cheat cycle later on. But instead, he decides to Stormlord, and he decides to Bugs, and he decides to do a bunch of annoying stuff. Like, it's just... Just, like, why, bro? Ooh, got another Fire Elf. The reason why I don't want to use it, I want to save it, because... Like, I need... Like, next next up is going to be Death Trap and then Prism, but... Uh, once I Prism it, I get rid of all my other stuff anyways. Actually, wait! <gasps> that would be a good idea! Because then I could get rid of the Prism without having to use a bunch of other stuff. But I could also heal off the minion. Yo. I mean, this is risky, but we're going to do it. I'm going to do this. We're going to Death Trap, then Prism. And sure, it's not going to do much damage to Von Chain. But we get rid of the Life Shield. Still do drain damage to the minions to heal up to full health. But then immediately, once we're able to Krulu again, we'll be set up for the next cheat cycle. Or for the next uh, Krulu cycle. Now, the only I just have to get a little bit lucky here, though, with the minions. I need to not take more than, like... A thousand damage. Okay. That's not bad. Yo, just spam me. Spam me with your hit. Spam me. Spam me. Dang it. Oh, dang it. I mean, that doesn't really do anything. I don't have set storm resist, so. Alright, he's gonna hit me with cheat cycle next turn. That's a thing. Let's death trap and then prism. That's three shots. He's cheating. Yeah, dude. You know, supercharge. Do it. Dang it. Yo, healing current. Just kidding. They don't healing current when they have full health. Oh, okay. Pass. That's fun. All right, Shane. Okay. Uh, looks like he did not use a hit. He just passed. So he's going to hit me with three pip. Three pip cheat cycle. Not bad. Does have extra pierce, but it should only do like 600 maybe. He does pierce through all my resist though. Yeah, just under 600. I was close. Um, you know what? We'll do that. Let me try to... There we go. That was worth it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll discard another Krulu. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's Prism. I just need to not take 1,800 damage this turn. If I can just not take 1,800, then I'm fine. No, I need to... Uh... Oh, come on, dude. Like, you couldn't just pass one more turn? No, the reason why I didn't want to hit was because... I wanted to get rid of this. I mean, I probably should have hit. Yeah, I probably should have hit. Thousand. Yo, please be kind. <gasps> yes, okay. All right. All right, Shane, don't bugs me. Yes, good. All right, now let me not fizzle. I have a 60% chance of power, 40% chance to fizzle, meaning I have a higher percent chance to power than I have to fizzle. So game, don't make me fizzle. Bam. Go. Yes. Urgh, let's go. Five head. Five headed. All right, but now I need to pull a prism. 
Oh yeah, Shane's gonna take no damage because life life shield freaking scrub noob. But yeah, he's just gonna heal that off, but again, minion damage, full health. Kinda poggers, kinda Komodo hypers. Now I just need I just need to get a freaking shadow pip in six turns. Game, can you do that for me? Can you give me a shadow pip in six turns? And minions, can you not max bolt me all the time? And can you stop using this freaking spell? Oh man, these guys are so annoying. We didn't do that much, but... Oh my goodness, I thought he was going to empower. He can use empower. He rarely... He rarely empowers. It's like the most rare spell he can use, but he can use it. And yeah, no, I, I don't want any part of that. All right, if I power, I power. If I fizzle, then I take a thousand free damage, which is really dumb. So let's not fizzle. And let me actually discard this and use this. You don't fizzle. Yes, I powered. All right, now give me a prism. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> if I don't pull a prism, I'm actually kind of screwed. I've, it's like a 30% chance to pull a prism, a sharpened, or a blade. I shouldn't have packed as many sharpened blades. Although, actually, a blade would not be a bad idea. Okay, well, stop with these max bolts. Yo, Shane, can you really quickly use your pips so I can blade and it won't be a bad move? Please? Please, Shane? Shane, please? Or... Oh. Please. Like, does he not have death hits? Why is he using all the storm hits today when I'm streaming this? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Wait, is he? He's out of pips. What? Wait, did that bugs use all? Hello, chat. What happened to all his pips? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I think that Bugs just use all his pips. Am I... Am I tripping? Hello? I'm gonna blade because he's only gonna get a blade and I'm gonna blade? Wait, no, he doesn't... He doesn't have Storm... No, you're lying. You're lying. Does he not? What? Wait, he do What? This is news to me. Hello? He doesn't have Storm Mastery. Are you kidding me? Shane Von Shane Star. Uh, yeah, he only has Death Mastery. What? So then, why is he using a Storm Hit so much on me then, man? All right, yeah, he gets an extra buff from that that supercharge because I bladed, but it's okay. It's worth it. Honestly, if I get a shot of him next turn, this is a quint buffed hit. He's doing 14k to his dome, or 13k to his dome. Alright, yeah, I'll take, a, a, you know, 800, 900 damage, whatever. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he had no pips. That's right, because he doesn't have storm mastery, so thing does friggin' so much damage, man. Alright, um. <sighs> get rid of this. I pulled the shadow pip. Yo, yo, let's enchant that. Yo, yo, no, no, no. Give me, give me a cruel. No, 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 no. Give me a cruel, bro. You know what? I'm gonna discard that, Bruh. All right. Well, I can pass because there's a fire elf tick on him. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I know I just fire elfed him, but I, I need a cruel because I have, I've quint, I'm quint buffed, bro. I'm quint buffed. You know what? You can hit max. I'm, I'm okay with that. Dude, I, I literally said it was okay to hit max. And now you don't hit max. I'm literally giving you the opportunity. Alright, well, you can chill, Shane. Was that... That was a potent enchanted uh, AoE wind, uh, windstorm, whatever you call it. Why pass? Uh, because he had another tick, and I want to just Krulu him. Um, if I can pull it, hello, game. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Game! Hello! Discard the pr Thank you, my goodness. Like, what? I discard everything. Pull that. All right, well, this is doing a ton of damage right here. Like, this is this is killing the minions. I've never hit in this battle before with a five buffed hit. Bam. Bam. 12,000, dude. Easy, easy damage. Minions are dead. Just me and you, Shane. All right, but now, now, like, this is, this is not so good for me, though. Because he... I, I don't have a prism now. I have to I have to dig for my prisms now. Although now I can actually afford to... So wait, dude, this changes everything. Like, I don't have to worry about bugs this turn because he can't... Ooh, look at that. That's a juicy pull. Let's get rid of one of those. Let's draw one of those. Let's... Let's, let's get rid of one of those. Let's... Oh, frick, dude. This is so annoying. All right, well, let's use that. All right. One or two more of these big juicy hits and he's dead. Although I need all my traps available to do something like that. Oh yeah, I had, I had plenty of death traps. I had... What's this? Is this a bolt? I didn't know he used bolt. Uh, you know what? I, that honestly probably wasn't even a max bolt. Yeah, there's no way that was Max, because he had a Pierce Blade. That was honestly probably just uh, a middle bolt. That just did a thousand damage because he had four buffs. Yeah, no, I have I have 20 total death traps. I have 10 of each, and then I have five potents. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well, let's Prism before he gets to use his freaking dumb life shield. Dude, at this point, like, if he doesn't do a crazy amount of damage to me, I could just one-shot him. I could go for a nine-round play instead of a six-round play. And that would, like, guarantee take him out and, like, instead of... Because at this point, like, I, I pretty much have to, two, like, use two more cycles because I do 9,000 damage on a full cycle of my traps into Krulu. But because he has an overtime on him and he healing currents, he's, he's bound to get like, you know, a thousand heal at this point. And I, I, I think actually he already has enough. Um, but I'm going to keep that elf because if I don't pull, I don't know how many more I have in main deck. So do you want to keep that? I don't want to. I honestly don't want to discard anything else anymore. Let's use that trap. Dude, it feels so nice. Like, I know he can't glow bugs me this turn. So can you please use Lord of Night? Please. Thank you. Or Krulu. I, I wouldn't mind a Krulu, but I would prefer you use Lord of Night. But a Krulu is fine too, I guess. Sure, it's going to do a thousand damage, but he has no pips. He can't bugs for at least five turns. You know how happy that makes me feel? That makes me feel really happy, dude. And he's also going to hit me with his cheat. His uh, cheat cycle, I think, right? He should. Oh, wait, no, he, he already reset his cheat cycle, I guess. Okay. Ooh, Shadow Pip. Um, I already prismed him. Oh, yeah, I have to fire off. Yo, don't fizzle. I have a 15 16% chance. Okay, good. Second chain try. Yeah, second chain try. I got insanely unlucky. The entire Dark War run today has been pretty unlucky. I was really hoping to get through without any deaths, but I'm not as disappointed because I know that I lost today to RNG. Unlike the other day, when I lost to Blackwater, that was me just being bad at the game. Ooh, Death Pierce. That's okay. Better than a 50 Death Blade. Power into triple convert into glow bugs. Okay, dude. Uh, he could. Don't even say he could actually do that. And that would that would get rid of my traps too. That would actually make me so unbelievably mad. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. Do this. Okay. I see all Pepe laughing, dude. No. Don't wish for that. I'll be very. I'll be very sad. 
I'll be a sad little boy. Dude, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to really kill me. Alright, well, he's gonna hit me next turn. Five pip cheat cycle. Uh triple buffed. Oh, not not that bad. <gasps> yes, that's very good. Okay, um. Yeah, let's uh let's trap. Let me draw. Okay. Let's trap. Any runs after? Probably not today. I mean we'll see, we'll see. Oh wait, are there 440? Oh my goodness, dude. I thought I thought we were gonna peak at 400. We're growing, dude. Oh, thank you ever for watching, dude. Welcome to the amazing Darkmoor. We have Malister after this. And we get the Darkmoor boots first try. That dude. That, that'd make up for all the three deaths that we've gotten in the entirety of the Darkmoor run so far. Dude, a fire elf is a piece of candy. It's actually like super addicting candy. Okay, um, now the question is, do I get greedy here and try for the double blade play as well? I think I do. I think I get greedy here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go for the blade play. Yeah, we'll go to 140 eventually. How do you solo Jabberwock? Just make sure you don't die when he does a meteor strike and make sure to take advantage of that, that thing as well. Yeah, superchargers don't stack. That's the great thing about them. Okay, wait. He passed. I think he just passed, yeah. Okay, prepare for the thunder. Alright, 50 blade. Honestly, dude, a 50 blade is already enough to kill him. Dude, honestly, if, if he doesn't empower this turn, I'm just gonna hit him. Uh, like, a 40 blade with uh, quad normal buffs did uh 12,000 this is gonna do like 13,000 so I'm just gonna hit him bro I'm literally just gonna hit him yo no empower no empower please please and lightning yes okay he didn't empower all right chat second attempt not as unlucky this time Shane Von Shane as long as he doesn't crit block which he, he totally could but it's a very low chance of that happening BAM GG And now we move on to Malastair The Undying Uh One second No Bam Bam So many buffs Don't block oh, Okay dude I thought he blocked for a second Easy does it Easy does it Shane Von Chain Part 2 Star Edition Soloed Two thirds of the way down. Hey, look at that beautiful gold skeleton key. We're doing Aphrodite eventually. Okay, these are the these are the tier three boots right here. These are the the worst boots, the the absolute trash boots. Um, but yeah, so that is that. We got a saber tooth. You don't really get anything at all from this battle. I guess like the best thing you could get are these skeleton keys, and ooh, I have two of them actually. And then you could also get um. You could also get, uh, what's it called? Stuff thingies. Uh, like the, the amulets for other schools. Like, not, not these big amulets, but like the mini amulets. The one that give like 22 crit, 2 pierce, 2 resist, uh, 180 health, a tear socket, and a square socket. They're pretty good. Like, having those early on is really helpful. <sighs> okay, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready for Freddy for the finale? Malister the Undying. Part 3. Shadow Mouse there. We got double death minion. I think that's good. I don't know. Can the fire one use Draconian Pyromancer? Can that guy use Efreet? Draconian Pyromancer. Wait. They cannot use a free chat. In your Come two large robes, a flimsy wand trembling in your grasp, the sour scent of fierce wet in the air, and me exultant in my mastery of magic. In a small way, I should thank you. 
If you had not sent me spinning off into the void, had not destroyed Morgan, I might not have been able to achieve this. At my moment of greatest pain and confusion and despair, the locked gates of the spiral opened before me, and I was able to master Shadow. Once you are but a memory and a pinch of dust upon the wind, I will have the power to restore my Sylvia to her vibrant form. Then we can live out our lives as we planned, quietly and in peace. And Shadow take any who get in our way. I challenged you under the ancient law of Kandavasi. It is just between us now, wizard. Prepare your spells and face my cold fury. All right, bro. Chill out there for just a second. We beat you twice. We'll beat you twice again. Just between us, my three minions. Yeah, dude. Like three minions, and he also needs that dragon guy up there using earthquake every five rounds. <laughs> freaking, freaking noob. All right. Again, same gear setup. Um, I'll, I'll stick with the boots because, uh, you know, more damage. Lulls, I guess. Um, but we're going to clear the deck setup. And this right here is going to be interesting. Um, anyways. Okay. So, uh, this battle, uh, we have to... So, Malster the Undying, when he's in his death form... He has death resist, uh, I think like 30 to 40%. I forgot. You know, let me let me just pull up the, the page. He has 60%, uh, excuse me, 60% death resist, 40% um, life boost. So I do need to carry prisms. Uh, however, once he's in his haunted form, his shadow mouse there, haunted, whatever you call it, haunted mouse there form, he has 30% universal resist. So at that point, prisms don't matter anymore. But I will go ahead and max out my prisms because I do want to use them when I have the opportunity to. Um, I'm also going to um, max out my traps and as a matter of fact I'm also going to go ahead and max out my potent traps because traps are amazing in this. You can't faint him but you can use normal traps and the reason why traps are great is because that that little guy right up there you know what let's let's, uh, let's back up let's uh, control G it as well that that giant little guy <laughs> giant little guy that dude earthquakes you every five rounds so round one two three four and then at the beginning of round five he uses an earthquake cheat it doesn't do damage but it takes off all charms all wards from you so it's basically an earthquake it doesn't cost malice there any pips um so he does that round one two three four beginning of round five and then once round five happens you're on round one again so on that same turn so round one two three four five two three four five two three four five so basically, I guess every four turns then, if you don't want to include that same round as that round, every four turns he earthquakes you. So basically, it's nice to be able to stack some traps on him because um, he can't earthquake off his own stuff. He only earthquakes on you. Yo, Aravillo, thanks so much for the tier tier one, two month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. You should change the die reward to a bit lower. Nothing specific. <laughs> okay. Dude, you have 185,000. That's crazy. Wait, is it at, it's at 200,000, right? Wow, you're actually really close. Yeah, actually really close. Nah, dude. Nah, we want to... Future wizards, you can make me die on Malastair, but for now, dude, I got to do this. I, I got to... one do, Doing Graveyard with only one death, that would be kind of fun. Um, mass Prison for Minions. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, uh, yo, uh, African Brunch 68. Thank you so much for the par Prime sub. I appreciate it. Let me just check. Do, do his minions... Uh, how much was this? A Draconian? Necromancer. I should probably pack mass prisms anyways um how much resistance that 40 percent um you know i don't i don't know if i want to waste a pip on that because like and also i want to keep the minions alive because they're, they're like their health sacks their their hp sack for me so i i, I don't want to like you know speed run to kill them they only have 40 resist i have 21 pierce so they're only gonna have 19 resist so it's it's not that bad i don't need to spend two pips what about shadow shield well, I can only have one, and once he gets into his haunted form, he spams his shadow hit so much that one shadow shield won't do anything. Also, I'm pretty sure he just, yeah, he pierces shields. 
You can't shield against him. He has a sh he has a cheat where he just he pierces your shield or he shatters shields or something. So um yeah. Um All right, here here's how we're going to do this. So in we're going to focus on sideboard real quick. So basically it does it's not super hard to kill Malister. I don't need that many hits. I I mean, well, I do need a lot of hits, but they're going to be in main deck. But uh consistent reliable hits, I want to be able to hit like for six pips scarecrow is too expensive as of a spell at this point so i'm going to be packing a lot of wraiths and a lot of krulus um yo harry potter thanks for the 100 cheers i appreciate it All right, i'm gonna max out the rates i'm gonna pack one two krulus for now um and i'm also gonna max out make sure i have enchants for everything seven plus three that's honestly a little more than i need but uh, oh we have a scam yo Nozo Maidsu, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. We have actually another scam train. That's the second time we've gotten two scam trains in one one stream. That's crazy, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for the scam train chat. Okay. Anyways, let's not let's not um let me make sure I'm focusing here. So yeah, that's um oh yeah, let me so here's the thing. You can still blade this battle. You can still blade. You just have to be mindful of when you blade and you need to make sure you use your blades in a timely fashion. Harry Potter, thanks for another 200 bits. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm level 100. I am level 100. Um, uh, okay, so sharpened blades. Bam. There's our main deck setup right there. So Wraith, it does less than Krulu, yeah, but it does essentially the same amount for around the same... It does very similar amount for the same number of turns. It's a monstrous enchant weaker, but we can use it like every three rounds basically and it's a very important in his haunted form his cheat cycle he does like 2500 shadow damage every few turns so you need to make sure you're uh super prepared for this uh yo james thanks for another 100 bits i appreciate it hey how you doing bro all right and then for sideboard i'm going to pack scarecrow i'm gonna pack a couple of them um actually let me make sure i also pack plenty of dooms so you need doom and gloom because when he comes back in his second form, he has like uh, he has sixty thousand health, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, he ha he has like sixty thousand health, something like that, or fifty thousand. I don't know. But if I don't want to have to do all that damage, if I use a minus seventy five doom, he heals for a hundred thousand health. So a minus seventy five doom will make him come back with only twenty five thousand, which makes him a lot faster, a lot easier to kill. So I want to make sure I have dooms, scarecrows, are so I can pull them for the minions. Um, I'm gonna pack some reshuffles. Uh, because with this battle, you can actually afford to use pips on stuff like reshuffles and things like that. So I'll have that. I'll have a couple of Krulus inside uh, in case I want to like really quickly pull a super powerful hit if I get the shadow pip. And then I think um, I'm not going to pack a Deathblade because um, like if, if I if I double blade, if I double, if I triple blade and then Wraith, I mean like the odds of that happen because I mean I'm going to be trap sacking a lot so... He has me getting off a triple blade while keeping track of the cheat cycle. At a certain point, the cheat cycle is going to get to a point where um, I won't even be able to do the triple blade normally without risking dying. So I'm not going to pack any extra side side deck blades. So anyways, this right here is the OP deck setup that we're going to use to solo Malster the Undying. Normal and Malster the Undying haunted form. Yeah, I have, I have new emotes. How are you doing, Brianna? Welcome to the stream. New emotes. Yes, for sure. Um, but anyways, chat, it all comes down to this. We could get the Malister Boots first try, but honestly, right now, it's just about soloing the fight. And we're done with Darkmoor. I mean, I have Aphrodite, but that's a, that's a side battle. That's a side battle. We'll focus on that later. Anyways, here we go. Jumping in in five, four, three, two, one. Bam. Oh man. Okay. Welp. Here we go. So this is round one. I, I need to make sure I keep track of rounds. Round one. Um. I want to take out the minions pretty soon. Because he just himself doesn't do much damage. So we'll blade. I'll discard a trap. I should stop drawing. I'm going to discard one of those reshuffle. I'm going to discard both of them, actually. Oh, I just got monster mashed. I got monster mashed by one of the death mobs.
Yeah, Mouser himself can't monster match, but the death mobs can. That's why I did that weird camera angle. That's why it's showing it like off the game. Because it has, has the monster match is kind of weird. To have the number of rounds? Yeah, I could do that. I guess I could do that one. But it's not super hard to keep track, but yeah, it's, it's probably a smart idea to keep track. So I'm gonna get monster mashed. Honestly, I didn't th this is not an amazing pull that I just got from my hand. I should have discarded the other Wraith as well. Yeah, this is the monster mash. He does like 1,200, which is kind of crazy. Although, I don't know how much pierce he has. He might have less pierce, so it might only it might do a, less than 1,000. We'll see. 9-4. Yeah, he has... Because, yeah, Yevgeny does 1,200 because he has... Or 1,100 because Yevgeny has full pierce, but this guy probably only has like 25, so... Get rid of both of these. Get rid of that. Yo, let me pull my Scarecrow. Okay, Doom. We pulled that. Uh, I don't need multiple Dooms. I only need one, and I pulled another reshuffle. Oh, of course, dude. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Why would I not? Okay, this one's using Eric or Axe Breaker. Ah, uh, this spell is going to be annoying, isn't it? Well then. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to use uh, that other Deathblade. I'm honestly, I'm just going to Doom. Because I have to do it at some point before Malastare dies. And um, I can't even Blade this turn because unless I use multiple different kinds of Blades, it's really not worth it. Because if they're going to get Earth, if I don't use them fast enough, they're going to get Earthquaked off. This spell is a struggle. When you're doing this with a team, this is a struggle. This, this thing takes forever, bro. Yeah, I'm going to discard one shuffle. I'm going to keep the other, though. And I, it's kind of unfortunate that I pulled it. Really unlucky that I haven't pulled a single Scarecrow. I packed three of them. Watch me pull a Krulu next. I don't think any of the other minions hit, right? I was checking the... Or maybe that one did hit. Oh no, yeah, he just he just infected. And that one probably will use a natural attack if anything. Oh nope, that was also a mass mass infect. Get rid of one of those. Discard that. Don't need dooms anymore. Pull the scarecrow, kind of nice. Um Yeah, I'm not I didn't pull a prism, so like I can't really do a whole lot. I'm actually just gonna discard the Wraith too. I really need to pull things. Get rid of the potent as well. You know what? I'm gonna Scarecrow. I'm gonna do it. So this is round three right here, right? Yeah, it's round three. Oh no, sorry. This is round... What? Yeah, no, yeah, this is round three, because I doomed. Okay, well, I fizzled. That's fun. Gotta love Eric or Axe Breaker. Okay, uh, Backdraft. Fun. Oh, does this spell do fire damage? Wait, that's annoying. If this spell does fire damage, that's kind of annoying. Well, I th I'm pretty sure it does fire damage, right? Okay, no, it doesn't. That's good, I guess. This spell right here is why you don't really use uh, Fortify. Although, I guess Fortify could still be useful. Depending on when you use it. I probably should have packed Brace. Oh, there we go. Pulled a Prism. Okay, so this is round four. So, I need to hit this turn. Yeah, I need to hit. Otherwise, I lose my Blade. So, let's hit. And then now we pulled our prism, so now I can start like trap stacking and doing that kind of stuff. Oh, I just got monster mashed again. Interesting. Oh wait, that means I can't I can't prism. Ooh, that that's still the decent damage to Malice too. Not bad. Yeah, full health. Pretty nice. I'm gonna get Earthquake next turn, which actually takes off the Backdraft and the two Mass Infects. Yeah, I know I can Blade on turn 5. I'm gonna Blade next turn. Because I got Monster Mash this turn, so I can't Trap, but I can Blade. Although he has a Pierce Blade this time, so this Monster Mash is actually gonna do a little more. Yeah, plus not Because, yeah, they have the Erica Axe Breaker AoE Pierce Blades. Oh wow, that did that that one nine percent pierce buff that although he also actually he has a virulence, I just realized. And now both of them have virulences. Yeah, I know okay, I sold the game. I yeah, like everyone's talking about it. Okay, so he's gonna summon his big dragon boy from up there. That's a set shield, that's a Krulu. Yikes, I'm I'm gonna take a lot of damage these next couple of turns, but that's okay. 
He's gonna summon his dragon. Oh, I'm beguiled, so he... I hope that doesn't, like, mess up the turns. Yeah, that right there, that's not his earthquake. When he casts it, that's just his bone dragon, like, hit. Does a lot of damage. It's gonna do, like, another 333 total. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I, I, they, they sold, yeah, they, they sold, they sold the, the company was bought, not, not the game. If the game was bought, it wouldn't say King's Island Entertainment. MGI owns KI now. Yeah, that's, sorry, I, 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 I'm, I'm focusing, I'm focusing on the game, so, like, I'm not really paying attention. Dude, you could honestly say something, like, really, really, like, false, and I'd probably, like, uh, say yes, or cool, or whatever, because I'm, like, I'm in the zone right now. We're in the zone. Ooh, I th he's gonna... Is he gonna hit me next turn? I think he's gonna hit me next turn. Uh-oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna prism him. Discard one of these. Ooh, Kulu's fun move. Okay, this is turn one. Or, sorry, no, this is turn two now. So, three, four. So, I, I have to trap and then Kulu, because then he's gonna earthquake me, right? That's how it works? Yeah, trap and then Kulu. Yo, please use that trap. I don't want him to be able to use that trap for his cheat. Yikes, dude. Dude, that fire minion's about to one-shot me, bro. It's a backdraft, a fire trap, pierce blade, a fire blade. <laughs> okay, Cam. I'm a little bit more focused this time. <laughs> They know they confirm making a third game called Accountant 101. <laughs> okay, dude. Yo, please. Aw, oh, frick. I don't know, like... What is he gonna... What is Malister about to do? I'm not sure. I can't get Monster Mash. That's good. But I don't know how much damage this Fire Minion's gonna do. I'm gonna trap. I think having three buffs is amazing damage on Mally. Also, he has that Virulence up, so I get, extra da I get an extra damage boost because life damage. So... It's pretty pog. All right, um, yo, please, please be kind. Please just be a meteor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please. Uh oh. Ow. All right. Well, I don't know what Malister uses. I, I don't know if he's cheating this turn, but oh man, I might be cookhead. Wait, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can calm down, chat. We can calm down. We're all good here. I heal back to full health now. We're fine, chat. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's gonna earthquake next turn. If that cheat cycle didn't get messed up by the, by the, you know, the monster mash, we should be good. Yeah, I'm really soloing Malister. I'm, I'm soloing the whole dungeon. I already did the first two parts. 8,500, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm getting very unlucky with these pulls, though. I gotta be honest. I, before I let him go into his haunted form, where he can do a ton more damage because he has a regular super shadow cheat cycle, I want to make sure... Um, I want to make sure that... Uh, I reshuffle my deck first because I've had to discard a lot of things that I don't want to discard I also haven't been able to double bladed hit yet okay, yo let me get a sharpened blade okay, not a sharpened but it's, it is a blade um, I will blade in fact I can blade Prism potent anyway, so I'm just gonna enchant this. There we go, pulled a scarecrow, that's pretty nice. So yeah. Blade Prism Potent. Power Shake spells apart. Good. Cheat cycle has not been messed up by that thing. So this is now turn one. So turn one, I blade. Turn two, I po uh, I prism. Turn three, I trap. And then turn four, I have to hit because in turn five, he's gonna shatter. Um I also have to do I have to make sure I don't get monster mashed these next couple of turns. Oh wow, he's doing his uh thousand damage bone dragon again it is a little over a thousand because 
Actually, it is, even, it is a lot now because he has a virulence this time. Yeah, it is like 1,200 now. Or sorry, like 1,400. How'd you solve this as myth? On any other school, you would have to... Instead of using uh, Doom and Gloom, you'd use uh, Sanctuary and you'd make sure you have a Life Mastery. A gift from Tartarus. This is sun damage, right? I mean, I don't have any resist to it, so I guess. 698. That's a lot of damage, dude. I gotta be honest. Um... Yeah, I need a, if I get monster mashed, dude. If they don't use their pips and I get mo and I'm probably just gonna hit next turn because, yeah, I, I don't want to risk a monster mash. But at the same time, I do want to make sure there's a prism on him. <laughs> they didn't monster mash me this turn, so that's good. I mean, that could have been a monster mash right there. That just fizzled. Oh, they just both fizzled. Yeah, I don't want to... Okay, yeah, he's going to Prism. I mean, I'm still triple buffed on Malastare. I don't want to risk getting Monster Mashed on... And then, like, I can't even use my Blade, so... Um, yeah. Do that. I'll get rid of that thing next turn. Yeah, I'll just... I'll Scarecrow. I need to pull a Prism, though. Oh, I, I, yeah, there we go. I got Monster Mashed. I got Monster Mashed this turn, so it's a good thing that I hit. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. Right, this gives me the full health. Although, I'm going to lose like pretty much all the health that I gained. I'm going to just lose it again because Monster Mashed is still a ton. How do I get a Headmaster Staff? When I was level 60, I, I had some free Professor's Horde Packs. Some of them given by KI. Some of them I used trivia crowns to get, and with those I could not get a single pair of professor's boots, which actually makes a difference. But I got a headmaster staff, and I wasn't gonna use it, but then chat convinced me to use it, and I've already stitched it at this point. I'm not gonna use sky iron because it has a longer animation. So, so there's your answer to that. All right, he's not gonna. Earth if I could pull a prism, then it doesn't even matter that he doesn't earthquake. That that he earthquakes the falling turn. Dang it, man. Now, see, this turn could have been used to Prism. Okay, he's gonna Krulu. They're gonna refresh those. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, Brace would have not have been a bad idea to have. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I could use a Death Trap. I mean, I, no, I, I literally can't do anything. I have to pass. I'm gonna pass and try to pull a Prism. 60 crit is just better than one damage. Yeah. But like, I don't want to use it because like, because now I have a piece of pack gear that I'm using for a long time, but it doesn't even help me benefit me that much, but it just makes it look worse because now I'm using a piece of, sure I got it like totally legit, I didn't pay for it or anything, but still, you know, I want to keep it as organic as possible. Dude, these, these death minions need to go. They're doing way too much damage to me. I'm honestly... I might just trap the death minions just so I can take them out. I'm not going to use Wraith, though. I don't think Wraith is a good idea. I will, however, trap you and then Scarecrow next turn. I I prefer to just one-on-one -on -one Malastare rather than having to deal with these freaking monster mashes every half a freaking second. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll trap... Power shake spells apart. That's fine. I'm very close to dying. If they, if they, if one of the monster mashes me, I mean, they could both technically monster mash me. Please. I, I won't be able to tell yet. All right, what is this? Okay, good. They did not monster mash. At this point, I can scarecrow, and I'm pretty sure a scarecrow. Oh uh, well, I mean, at this point, I don't know if this kills because this Krulu does like freaking 600 no no more than 600 because pierce i mean uh well it is about just a normal crew lead, so not bad we are the power of a dragon spire well you just you just had to buff up that moon hit didn't you minion 
You just had to do it. All right. Well, this was turn one, by the way. So let me let me keep track in case I forget. This is turn one because he just shattered it this turn. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, dude. Honestly, dude, having these death minions is a bit of a struggle. Get rid of the wraith. I'm gonna reshuffle anyway, so don't have to worry about that. Don't want to risk getting monster mashed. I'll scarecrow here, even if this one somehow doesn't die, which it could totally tank if I don't crit on it. In fact, I'm even with a crit, it might tank. We'll see. S scarecrow. Actually, I should have crew lewd. or maybe I should save. I don't know. I mean, if I did 700 on Malister who has 60 resist without a trap, this should definitely kill. What? Oh, that, that had to be a block, dude. That had to be a crit block. Malister has double the resist. Well, not double the resist, but Malister has double the number for the resist. And somehow Malister took the same damage while you had a trap. Of course you freaking... Man. Gift from Tartarus. And now, like, he's doing a lot of damage to me now as well. So, like, it's, it's kind of annoying. <sighs> 445 eight. That is a thousand. Oh my goodness. I did too much. Yes, I have blades now. That's good. Um But I'm not pulling any prism, so like does it even matter? No, dude, I'm I'm just gonna pass, bro. I need to pull a prism. I swear, if I die because I can't pull these freaking prisms... How many prisms have I pulled this battle? I pulled like two. I don't think I've discarded even a single one. Like, what? Any thoughts on KI being bought? I think it's... I'm optimistic. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I guess I'll just... I'll just hit without a prism, I guess. Whatever. And I get freaking Monster Mash again. Of course I do. Am I just dead? Does a Monster Mash just kill me? What turn are we on? Is this turn three or four? That did way too much. Yeah, I... I I'm... A monster Mash, I think, just kills me. He is double buffed. Yeah, I'm dead. I actually died on Malister fight. Like, that's actually insane. How do I die on Malister fight? No, yeah, I tanked that chat, but like, I died everything else. And Berserk, I guess. Get rid of that. Uh, this this overtime is doing at least 150 a round. I mean, maybe it doesn't do 150 a round and I somehow tank. Oh, wait. Hold on. I tank. I actually tank. Although, I don't know. Is he doing his, uh, his uh, dragon cheat this turn? The... Ooh. We're tanking out here. Okay. I see you. All right. Well, the, the, the problem is this crew doesn't do much for me. It only heals me by a tiny amount. It doesn't heal me by enough. Although, at least at this point, I don't have to deal with this freaking death spamming uh, uh, monster mash minion. This is turn two of the cheat cycle. So I'm not going to blade yet. Okay. Uh, 2,000 health. Not bad. Not enough though. I still need to pull my prisms. Okay, yeah, fear the power, 700. He's gonna do gift from Tartarus in a couple turns. Gift from Tartarus is 1100. Oh, that only does 400. Um, I mean, he's gonna Krulu though, and I'm pretty sure that kills me. That was turn two. This is turn three. I mean, where are my prisms? 
Hello? I have nothing left. Did I discard my pri- Yo, chat. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where are my prisms? Did I really discard all my prisms? Hello? What? Where are they? There's no way I discarded eight prisms. You know, I'm dead. I mean, this doesn't kill me, but he's gonna do his gift from Tartarus cheat soon. I mean, I'll Wraith next turn to try to get some health back, but like, without a prism, it just doesn't do enough. Yep, there's gift from Tartarus, and that kills me. Wow! Did I really discard five or six prisms? I can't believe I died to the easiest boss in this dungeon. Yo, can I maybe tank this somehow? Kill me by 50, 40, 40, 45, whatever. Dude, did I really discard all of my prisms? Wow, dude. I can't believe it. Now I'm upset again. <laughs> like, Von Shane death, that was just some BS, but this again was a misplay. Yeah, say goodbye to three tier two upgrades. Rest in peace. But no, I'm honestly more disappointed that... Wow, dude, how... How did I discard all my prisms? Please tell me the minions respawn, because now it's going to seem illegitimate if I win. Please respawn. Okay, good, they respawn. Wait, is there... Okay. There's a freaking myth one now. Does that use... Does Draconian Conjure use Earthquake? I mean, it probably doesn't matter, because I barely played. Draconian... Conjurer. He can use Earthquake. He can also use Shift and Stun. Bro, how do I discard all my prisms? Because it doesn't matter if I... Like, I can, I can prism stack on him. You had 31 cards left in your deck. The prisms were there. I mean, maybe. There is a chance. Wait, can, can someone clip it? Someone go to the beginning. How many prisms did I discard? I used two of them. I know that for a fact. But how many prisms did I discard? Can someone check that for me? I want to know. It's been more than a minute. No, no. You can... If you click on my name, you can, like, rewind back on the VOD. You should be able to. Get rid of a Wraith. Yeah, I'm just gonna prism stack. I'm you're I, I shouldn't have even discarded one prism. We're not even supposed to discard prisms. Out of the three battles, how's he can't either one he did first try? I don't know, dude. I mean I lucked out at the very end. I was getting super unlucky by not getting anything going my way, and then I lucked out the end. Oh well. And then there's a freaking. Uh, now I'm stuck with a storm minion that can just bugs. <laughs> Two ultra king parsley. Should I stop taking care of it when it's halfway through elder? Go a little bit more than halfway through Elder and then stop taking care of it. If it's if it's at halfway, then do like one more harvest and then let it wilt. That should be that should work out for you pretty well in my opinion. Um I'm, I mean now I'm just not even pulling traps, bro. Like what? I'll discard a blade. Of course I pull the reshuffle. Honestly, though, if I don't discard a prism, hitting without any buffs at all, just a prism on him, is not a terrible idea. Until it's at least three quarters of the way. Well, it depends. If you have all likes, then three quarters might be a little bit risky. Because it takes it takes a while for them to re uh, to reset or um, start wilting. It's really weird. Like they, they they made it like anti. They tried to make it like anti wilt revive, but. Don't uh, stun me, please. Okay, dude, I'm, I'm getting spammed by shads. Yo, can I get a shadow pip next turn so I can use a shad? 
Wait, uh, do do enemies have shadow meter as well? Like in PvE? I never actually paid attention to that. Or do they just get random shadow pick chance? Because two of them have already outshadowed me. They do have it? So wow, that means two of them have outshadowed me already. And even Malister has a Shad. Like, give me a Shad so I can Krulu. I mean, I can still Scarecrow. If I pull it... Dude, what is happening with this game right now? Can, can someone in chat explain that to me? What is happening? What is happening? I forgot to I forgot to restock my scarecrows. No one told me. I forgot to I didn't I don't have anything in sideboard. I forgot to restock before I Cuz normally on that battle I don't expect to have to restart. Death? No, I I'm not going to count that cuz like I I forgot to restock. We're not going to count that one. We're not going to count that. I I forgot to restock and I I realized like two rounds in. No, no, no. We're on 26. That one doesn't count. I, did, I, I didn't even have the... It's like... It's like if I accidentally got pulled in battle with, like, 10 HP or whatever. Or that I, that, that one time... Remember that one time in Zafaria? I... Um... I fled a battle after... Uh... Casting spells, but we didn't count it as a death. It's like that. We'll think, of, we'll think about it like that. That doesn't count. I didn't have... I didn't have the proper spells in. I must be angry. I'm not angry. I'm annoyed that I I messed up by discarding my prisms the first time I tried this. All right, can I pull my scarecrows now? I still can't pull them. Okay, there we go. Discard the reshuffle, and then I'm not gonna draw anything until I can get a scarecrow. I just got monster mashed first turn. Nice. Stop talking trash to the game now. Nah. Deck had a row and two prisms. Used two prisms, discarded one. Okay, so I just got unlucky last turn. So this has been the luck unluckiest solo Darkmore run in the history of Wiz, is what you're telling me. I get I get um I get Lord Wintered against Yevgeny. I get I don't get a single um monster mash to go my way. I do Shane Von Shane and I get spanned by Glowbugs and two out of three max bolts. And now I do this Malastare battle. I have 10 prisms in. I get all the way down to 30 cards left. And by the way, uh, 10 out of those 30 cards left, by the way, are actually the TCs that I discarded. Because the TCs that you discard, they still show up in that total. So I had 30 cards left. But of those 30 cards, I cannot pull one out of the seven prisms I still have remaining in my deck. So, yeah, and, and, and now both of them, I'm outshadowed once again by these two guys. He's using Skeletal Dragon. I'm outshadowed. I get Glowbugs with a blade. I'm outshadowed. I get Colossus with a blade, with a bubble, or not, not with a blade, but with a bubble. The worst part about getting um, Beguiled is you can see your fate that's incoming. Dude, this is wow. This is this is wow. Wow. Yo, Gage Williams. My man, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. How are you doing, dude? By the way, Gage, I got some new sub emotes. Uh, I re-added Ferric Pro. And, uh, by the way, they're now FRC. Because uh, uh, the person that said they were willing to give me Ferric... Um, they're not a Twitch partner, and apparently you need to be a partner. I'm still, like, trying to message them, because, like, I want to ask, because, like, he's still, he's willing to do it. So I'm going to, like, maybe ask Twitch if, like, this one time they can make an exception. But until then, I can use FRC, I guess. Which is better than Ferric 1, in my opinion. You doing all right? Just enjoying the weekend? That's, it's good to hear that. Um, do I have to Scarecrow? I have to Scarecrow. Yeah. 
during the weekend. Well, hopefully you'll also enjoy this solo Darkmoor just as we're finishing off final boss. Potential to get Malster boots. Um, and uh, I haven't been streaming much the last few days. Only like two hour streams. Like I've been grinding, but after this week, like I'm planning on making more YouTube content actually. By the way, for those of you on Twitch right now, I know a lot of you are from YouTube because I don't normally get 400 live viewers concurrently. But um, if any of you are new, then I would appreciate if you exclamation point YouTube sub to my YouTube channel. I'm, I have some nice tutorial videos on there. I plan on making more this week um, because now that we've once we're done with Darkmoor, we're 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 literally done. We're we're just gonna it's it's gonna be chill for like a while after that. There's no farming. There's no hardcore farming until catacombs. That's a good earthquake. That gets rid of the traps. Do you not want Malahat hat and robe? Nope, I have Crocopatra hat and Bone Smasher robe. For Death School, those two are better than the Malister gear. The only thing Malister gives more of is uh, power pip chance, and I already have 100% power pip chance. I don't even have a deck with a triangle socket, and I already have 100%. I mean, right now I have lower because I'm wearing these boots, but like a, a triangle jewel solves that problem entirely. So, all right. Uh, this battle is looking a little bit better. Are you going to stream all of your catacombs farming? No, I'm not going to stream all of it. I'm going to do a lot of like off, off episode farming. Because catacombs is actually a grind. Oh, fun. I get storm loaded. Night Creeper Athame? Yeah, I, I need to get that. But like, so, I mean, the solo grind, like the stuff I need for solo, that's like more difficult. The, the gear that I need to farm, that part's easy because um, that's just, well, it's... It's easy, it just it's just RNG. It's like, do I get it or do I not get it? Because at that point, I'll be doing it with a team. I don't really have to focus that much. So, so yeah. But yeah, Gage, thanks, thanks again for that 10 gifted. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, though. Is it faster to farm or craft Dragoon? Uh, craft, 100%. I mean, well, if you get super lucky, yeah, it's faster to farm, but, like, the odds of that happen, the drop rates are trash. You're just better off farming, dude. It's more consistent to just farm. I'm actually gonna double prism, because I might need to just scarecrow again here. Discard one of these blades. I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to doom for now. I'll wait to doom. Um, yo, Vils! Poggers, thank you so much for the $10. I appreciate it. Although... He means craft. He means farm reagents. Well, if you craft Dragoon, you have to farm the reagents to craft it. So if he's if, when he's talking about farming, I'm going to assume that he means... Oh, he means farm reagents. Well, I mean, you need to farm for the reagents anyways. When you're saying farming, I'm assuming you mean farming Felspawn. Because you can't farm for Dragoon's gear besides farming Spellfawn. You have to craft it. Yeah, I would not farm Felspawn. Drop rates are pretty bad. These guys want to stun spam me, dude. Oh, did I say Spellfawn? Did I say Spellfawn? <laughs> uh, that's how you know we've been in Darkmoor too long. Get rid of that. I can Krulu. I should Krulu. I will Krulu. Yes. Spellfawn. <laughs> We're going to call him Spellfawn from now on. Although, it doesn't matter. We're not even going to farm Felspawn. Have we any deaths yet? Yeah, we're on two deaths, I believe. We died once on Shane. We died Malastare because I, I got freaking unlucky. The game decides to RNG me so that I can't pull a single prism. And then by the time I get to hit... Uh, because I can't pull a prism, I can't heal for enough. Because I can't heal for enough. And also, 
That, if that freaking minion didn't crit block, I would have had another 1300 health because it wouldn't have been able to use Monster Mash because it would have been dead, but it, it decided to crit block as well. That was dumb. No, I'll get rid of that. Scarecrow, there we go. Pulled that. Okay, now I think I can Prism Faint in peace, unless I just get Monster Mash again. Yo, Vils, thanks for the three gifted tier one subs, dude. I appreciate it. CJM, I forgot my username. Amaji, congratulations. By the way, I forgot to congratulate the other people. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Red Knight, HFVMXIGMVKDBMCDQ. Nice username. <laughs> Uh, did you just like mash your keyboard when you although I I shouldn't I, maybe his name actually stands for something although I'd be uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find something that has that as standing for something I mean maybe who knows I'm not gonna say anything about it um shiny pickle blood wolf gypsy fish ho hockey star X cun um, zero zero um, some mod some mods are tools <laughs> Tanner and Sweevebe. Congratulations on all the gifted subs. Um, again, ad free viewing, even though I don't play ads. You get a, a sub badge. Enjoy the sub badges. I've revamped them a bit. I've changed them up a bit, although the, the nine month and the 12 month, like, no one's there yet because I've only been streaming for like seven months. But once you get there, dude, they, they look, I, I gotta be honest, they look kind of nice. Um, and uh, emotes, we got, first of all, we brought back Fair. Pro, FRC Pro, uh, and I also got three new custom-made sub emotes. Three coming every month for the next three months, um, including this month, I guess. So two months after that, I guess. Six more guaranteed. Um, and uh, shout out to uh, oh shout oh I, I totally forgot. Shout out to to Galen. They made me all the all the sub emotes. I, I totally forgot, dude. I can't believe I forgot. Shout out to Galen for making the sub emotes. Amazing, amazing, dude. I didn't even have to like like. They found me, dude. They literally found me, and I I I know what I would have done without them. I think the emotes are amazing. Yo, Crobe, Crow BBB. Thanks for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Time for scam train. I think it, there's like a, a cooldown for scam trains. I think it's like once every hour or once every two hours or something. Okay, well, I think I have to Scarecrow again, which is kind of unlucky. Um, do I die? I don't die quite yet, so I want to Doom early on just to be safe. That way I take a little bit more damage. I'll still heal the full health. And uh, yeah, I should be good. Let's go sub now. Hey man, enjoy enjoy the emotes, enjoy the, the sub badge, ad free viewing, even though I don't play ads. Although I, I still don't know like, yo, I, I mean, I, I don't even know if there's anyone, at this point I don't even know if there's anyone in chat that doesn't have sub. Um, do you get random ads? Cause I don't play any. I don't know if, I know you get one at the beginning when you first start the stream, but do, do you get like ads like, do you get them like afterwards? Like in the middle of the stream, do you get them? No ads? Only pre-rolls? Only one in the beginning, okay. That's good. All right, yeah, so now I wait for this big hit right here. Now I heal the full health and I'm gonna actually be at full health for like a bit. So it works out. Scare, and now like, if I accidentally kill and forget that I have, there's a, that um, I need to put a doom up, then I don't have to remember to do that anymore. So that's also good. Get rid of one blade, I'll scarecrow. So yeah. People who run ads pogo. I mean, I I I rarely run ads. When I do run them, it's when I like uh, dur during the streams where I like stream for like six hours. Like sometimes I'll take like a break, a five ten minute break halfway to get some food. So like during that break, I'll play an ad because like you know I'm not doing anything, so no one's missing out on anything. So. Mouse has been saving him powers for his deadly minnows. Dude, those are some sun deadly minnows. He has like the rarest TCs in the game and he has so many of them.
mid rolls have to be on from the streamer really wait do i have to do that i didn't i didn't realize that uh oh should i play an ad right now no i don't want to do it right now i don't want to like ruin the viewer experience to play an ad right now yo wait let me actually look that i should probably i don't want to lose my partner wait uh partner mid roll ad requirements twitch is there a thing for this Okay, well, here's the thing. I don't think you're you're forced to. I don't think they. So they don't require you. I don't remember reading anything about them requiring you to do any of that stuff. I, if, if anything, they play them themselves. They play those ads themselves. They. I don't remember reading anything that that said that I have to run ads. Okay, I don't watch like I don't have time to like watch other streamers that much these days. But I know XQC never runs mid rolls himself. He ne he he. Like that's, that's just a thing that he doesn't do. So if he doesn't run it, why would I have to do it? Does Twitch do ad revenue? They do. It's not that much, but like that's okay. Hassan does. Yeah, Hassan does this every hour. Which, I mean, that's that's a little excessive, but you know, it's his stream. His he can do whatever he wants. Um, how many re okay? How many reshuffles have I discarded? Uh, I'll get rid of that. I don't want to make the same mistake with a different card. Okay, power shakes your spells apart. So actually, as long as I don't take much damage, I can actually double blade, and then Hulu, and that'll one shot everyone. Some deal he has. Oh, okay. Maybe he has a contract. Who needs ads when you have Nissan sponsorship? True. Yo, Apple dude, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Top of the hour every hour. 60 second odd break. Yo, what's up, Micro Ninjas? Welcome to the stream. Yo, what's up, No Lacking? I'm doing alright today. I mean, we failed twice, but we still did it. I mean, we haven't done it yet. I still have to finish this battle, of course, but we will do it eventually. Okay, um, 3,000 health, no virulence. A monster mash shouldn't do too much on me. Although, Malster did crit a bone dragon that I didn't block. How much am I taking from that every round? Wait, that's not doing much. He crit that. Either I, sh either I shadow blocked. Or, I guess, my block rating just makes it not do that much damage, I guess. I don't know. I blocked? Oh, did I really? Oh, I didn't notice. I guess, dude, 123 block, kind of OP. I wouldn't have blocked that if I had Poseidon boots on. Yeah, here's the thing, like, a lot of the... So, like, when you, when you have, like, 30,000 viewers or whatever, if you play an ad, you actually get, like, a lot from playing just just a 60-second ad break. Like, that gets you a lot, and then, like, obviously the people that don't get it are most likely just subbed. But, like, I wouldn't make that much because uh, I'm not a 30k Andy. Um, so, because I, I don't, like, get much from it, and uh, it just ruins the experience. I don't want to play ads if I don't have to. You, you feel me? Okay, I'm gonna scarecrow here. I've Deathblade, Double Trap, Prism. This is, this is gonna be a huge hit. Yo, can I get a Krulu actually? Give me a Krulu. Yo, give me a Krulu, dude. I'll, I'll use that instead. You're a 430, any? I mean, dude, a 430 is a lot of people. I'm not complaining, bro. I'd rather be a, uh, a 430 Andy than a 30 Candy, because if I was a 30 Candy, like at that point, I don't even know who my viewers are. It's just a bunch of people and I don't know. Like, yo, Elixir, I know you, dude. You're in streams all the time. You were there for a lot of the catch farming as well. I know that. Uh, Cam's obviously mod. Valk, I know you, dude. Nate the Greatest TV, I know you, bro. F Frost Galaxy Gamer's been here for a really long time. Mindy140 Ice has been here a lot very recently. KP, obviously, I know you, bro. Oh my goodness, <laughs> now, now everyone's... Uh-oh. That minion lived. 
Wait, that's not good. That means he can do damage to me, bro. I mean, he doesn't have pips right now, so I could... As long as I take him out pretty soon, we should be okay. Okay, 25,000 health left. I don't need to use prisms anymore. I guess that's a good thing. I don't need to use prisms, but I have no idea what round cycle I'm in. So I'm not going to blade. And in fact, this turn is pretty much just wasted until I figure out what round of the cheat cycle I'm on. Farrakhan is just pretending he doesn't know any of us. I remember Ikta as well. Um, JK to bees. No, no, no. I, I, no, 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 no. I, I remember you, JK to bees. Don't worry. I remember you. Why didn't I prism the minion? Because I'm going to end up... Ooh! Yes! Give me that 100 faint. Yes. I like that. Yes. Okay. This is good. Although, I mean, I'm getting unlucky, so I won't be able to trap stack it that well. What? What? Uh, I, I don't know what round we're on. Okay, well, this is first round. I'll double blade and then scarecrow. It's kind of a... I mean, I won't be able to use traps, but it's whatever. I mean, I'm, I should have discarded that um, enchant. I because now I now I'm definitely not gonna pull a trap next turn. So now I definitely need to just double blade and scarecrow, so it's whatever. Yeah. Oh, I muted my mic. I, I don't know when I muted it. Why, why did I mute it? I don't know why I muted my mic. All right, we're we're, we're back. Um, yeah, I I didn't get monster mashed. I totally I should have totally hit, but we got lucky. Mic check one two three. Yeah, my my stream started lagging out for a second, and I guess I accidentally hit the mute button. I was trying to check the little number to see if everything was going. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Wait, am I dead? Oh, no, he did that at the end of the turn. I'm alive. Yeah, he did that at the end of the turn. Don't tell him next time. No, dude. All right, let's get all of our health back real quick. I'll discard one of these. Don't need prisms anymore. I don't know why I keep those. Uh, I do want to pull a Krulu, though. I'll discard a... a I forgot. I was supposed to use a reshuffle a while back. Um... Yeah, using a reshuffle once he's in shadow form is kind of a yikes. Although, to be fair, I didn't expect to just kill him that fast. I really hoped I didn't kill him when I had that many traps, but I just ended up killing him. Yo, what's up, Blake? How you doing? Wait, do you not have VIP? What? How do you not have VIP in my chat? In my chat? How does Blake not have VIP? There you go. What's up? How you doing? We're almost done here. We're wrapping things up in a bit. Alright. We're almost done, though. Okay, one reshuffle left. Don't need any more dooms. Don't need prisms. I can trap. There we go. Komodo hype. Yeah, dude. Komodo hype. Yo, who's this Blake? Who's this Blake E P V P guy? Who is this guy? He has he has a check mark next to his name. Who is this guy? Chat, can you tell me? Uh, yo, does anyone remember what round we're on? I don't. Cheat cycle? Hello? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's think about this. 
I hit right as I got monster mash or right before I got monster mash. so this should be the reset right I know last one was a reset so this is actually turn two so I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to reshuffle I'm gonna discard a wraith because I don't need two so I'll reshuffle and yeah I'm gonna take a little bit extra damage but I have a shadow pip so I can Krulu I'm not gonna be using scare I use up all my scarecrows already on round nine this is two okay well I'll just try to pull for more traps and just like trap stacking for a bit he fizzled. Oh, there we go. We got an enchanted Krulu. I don't need to draw anymore. In my side, I just have reshuffles, and I guess I... Yeah, I just have reshuffles and dooms at this point. I don't need to pull from there anymore. Um, so This is turn three. So, I guess... I guess I'll just pass, because I don't want to hit him without trapping him one at least one more time. Hitting with just two buffs is not enough for me. Oh, he just... Okay, he uses... This is Bone Dragon hit. He's gonna do a lot. Yeah. And he's also gonna show me the shadow soon. Yeah, he's gonna show me the shadow. Collab vlog when? Yo, uh... Blake lives on the, the west coast. I live on the east coast. It's... Just a little bit of a, uh, a distance. It would have to be like a, <laughs> it would have to be a zoom vlog, a zoom vlog. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. I just took a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah. I, I have to hit soon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Poor fools. Poor fools. Okay. Uh, let's think about this. So that was turn four, right? So is this going to be turn five or what's this going to be? Can he still give me a gift from Tartarus? I want to know if he can still give me a gift from Tartarus. Uh, hold on. Malastare the Undying Shadow. I really hope he can't give me a gift anymore. I don't want any gifts. Please, please don't give me the gifts. Haunted primary interrupt cycle. Yeah, okay. He does. He's he he can't give me gifts anymore. Thank goodness. I don't want any gifts I'm gonna use a regular wraith to just regularly heal Actually, no, nah, I should crew Lucas Okay This is turn four. No, this is five right now. So this is turn one now Or turn four. I mean, I, I should I should call it one or the other. I shouldn't like refer to both. So, but I'm I'm just gonna hit here just to get some health back. It's not gonna do a crazy amount of damage, but it should be fine. Yo, just real quick, sauce me another 100 faint. Can you do that for me, Mouse here? See it right there. That's not enough damage. When he shows me the shadow. He hits me for 2,500, but it's not like a death drain. It's like, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a steel health spell. It's a steel health. So when he shows me the shadow, I should stop discarding my wraiths too much because I only have two Krulus in main. But yeah, when he shows me the shadow, he steals 2,500 health from me. So if I do only 2,700 damage, I'm only doing 200 damage during that cycle. Yeah, it's a 100% drain. It steals that much health. And I also didn't time it in a way where the the dragon could um, get rid of that trap for me. So, yeah, dude, I might actually be dead. 2,500? I mean, I have 1,300 health left after that. So, we'll see. I would like a plus 100 trap soon. Yeah, that don't don't crit please. Okay, no crit. Eight ten. Yeah, he has more damage in his haunted form. Show me the shadow. Twenty five hundred. Yeah. Uh, he does what? 800 damage? Or sorry, uh, he did 800 damage. So that means 
I take half of that. It's 400. So I take 200 around. I mean, it's not like I pulled a, a trap anyways. So, dude, why am I pulling all my rates? Pull, give me a trap, bro. Like, I can't do enough damage. If I just use a double-bladed wraith, it doesn't do enough. Okay, 100 around. I wish I pulled... I If I pulled a trap there, I would have used it. Because I, I wasn't dead to uh, whatever else he did, but... I mean... 50 and a 40. How much does it do? Please do at least 3,000. At this point... Okay, 5,000. That's not bad. Although, again, 5,000 should be like bare minimum. Because I just heal off the shadow. Now, I have to wraith him again before he shows me the shadow again. Yes! Give me that 100 faint. Yes, give me that. Alright, what turn am I on? Because, uh, I want to know if I can blade right now or if I should wait. Am I on turn 3 or turn 4? I'm like really not keeping track of this. I really should be keeping track of this. Um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use the weaker blade. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, he's going to show me the shadow, but the thing is, he has, he has pips, and I don't want to just get destroyed by whatever it is. Yeah, because he does tw a little over 2,500. So he's going to shadow trap me, but then he's going to show me the shadow next turn, so... Yeah, you can shadow shield all you want. Oh no, he's he's calling upon shadow. So I have two more turns actually. Okay, so I can blade. Ooh, give me an enchant for that real quick. Yeah, he's not gonna show me the shadow until two turns, so I'm fine for now. He's gonna show me the shadow next turn. No pip, and I didn't get the enchant anyways, but that's okay. Well, wraith, wraith does a lot. I, mean, I did, I did five thousand with two blades. I'm gonna do ten thousand, dude. This, if I crit on him, he might be dead. I get to full health from this. Even if he's like tanks by a little bit, I get to full health. But this could kill right here. This could just, this might just be GG. Hundred faint. No block. I mean, again, it could be a shadow block, but... Ooh, he's dead, I think. How much exactly did he have? Is he dead? He's alive, but barely. Alright, I think he shows me the shadow now. So, oh, I have to, I have to set up for a few more turns. He's, he's, he's this close. He's this close. Did he already shadow trap me? Is that a shadow trap? Yeah, he already shadow trapped me. So, he's gonna show me the shadow. Yeah, so I have to I have to wait a couple turns. Yeah, he tanked by like 200, and then now he's gonna get 2,500 from this hit. Yeah, another double double bladed wraith should kill, or double trapped even. Yeah, if if I like. Next time, I, if if I were you, the, if if you're trying to solo this as a death, by the way, I would try to pay attention to the sh to the shadow cheat and try to time Malister's death in a way where he always gets rid of that shadow trap, because then you only take like two thousand damage from his cheat. Um, but yeah, okay, so that was turn three. So this is turn four, which actually isn't enough for me to hit. So, uh, yeah, I actually have to pass here. I shouldn't have drawn. I don't know why I drew. I don't. I, I know I don't have anything inside the All right, you call upon shadow. So he calls upon shadow twice. So three turns until he shows me the shadow again. Um. All right, now I should be safe to blade. Yep, power shakes the spells apart. So like this cheat, if you could time it, if you could time Mouser's death so that, um. He, he does this when he does the shadow trap, so the turn before he shows me the shadow, that's like the best case scenario. Oh, he's hitting me. Another deer knight. Okay. Uh, hold on. I think I might just have to hit him with Krulu. 
Yo, let me get an enchant real quick. Give me an enchant. I'll cruel him. And I think that just kills. Well, yeah. With, with another blade, it would do 5,000. And yeah, a crit kills. And then if it doesn't kill, then I can immediately wraith him right after. Yeah, this is GG. This is GG right here. All right. Two deaths, graveyard. And we're all done. Unless he crit blocks. But even if he crit blocks, I don't die because he didn't have pips to use another death hit. And he doesn't show me the shadow for another turn. All right, chat. Death Lord's Greaves of Woe. Can I get him first try? And also, as we know, it's customary to open the chest one time. GG, second exalted death wizard in history to solo Castle Darkmoor. I saw a gold key up there. I don't know if I got the boots, but I, I did see a gold key. We're going to wait for the cutscene. We'll, we'll reel the drops in a second. Be. I was so close to achieving everything I ever wanted. I asked for so little. Spiral, is this the fate you mean for me? GG chat. GG. Dear sweet Malister, pain and sorrow have consumed you. Death. You have to let it all go. You have to surrender your anger and your fear and find peace in the spiral. Can you do this for yourself, for me, for us all? Or else every good thing, including your love for me, will have been for naught. FRC sad in the chat, everyone. Surrender! I... I will do this for you, my love. And for my brother. And even for you, wizard. Even for you. Me? Take what you have learned here this day and spread good and mercy through the spiral. We will not meet again. Come, Alistair. Walk with me to the other side. Three hours on the dot, pretty much, chat. Three hours on the dot. Five attempts, three battles. I mean, to be fair, when you meet him in Imperia, it's, it's, it's in a dream, right? Oh, wait. I might need to do trivia. I don't remember if the chest is, uh... 500 crowns or sorry 500 crowns 50 crowns or uh, 75 crowns if it's 75 I don't have enough Wow, dude Yeah, I only have 53. I don't know if that's enough first. Let's see what we got. I Got depth of dark more. Oh, I did not get the boots Um. Yeah, I got the I got the tier 3 hat and I mean, like, even if I got the best hat, the like, croc hat is still better. All right, let's see. Is it chest 50? <gasps> it's 50. Okay, chat. All right, wait, 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 wait. Before we, before we leave, chat, before we leave, can we get a final uh, uh, a Komodo hype, a Kragasm spam in the chat one more time? Uh, next time we do this, we'll probably be like, I, I probably won't even have to do it until the next wizard because uh, catacombs, you don't even pop chests, you farm. So can we get... Death Lords Greaves of Woe. What are the odds? Let's do it. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I saw boots. I saw boots, but nah, they're, they're the low tier boots. Unlucky. Okay. That's okay. We only have one piece of gear to get from this dungeon. So once I get the Mouser boots, I'm done farming here. I'm going to do Aphrodite next. Um, I don't know about today. It would be should I do Aphrodite today? It would just be an hour of me spamming Scarecrow and um, uh, Call of Krulu. I don't, I don't think I want to I don't know. I feel like that would be boring, right? I don't know. Should I do it? Aphrodite do it. Let, let, let's, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll slash poll uh Aphrodite solo when 
today, tomorrow. We'll give it two minutes. There's 500 people here. We'll almost almost 500 people here. We'll give them two minutes. All right, two minutes. If I were to do Aphrodite though, I'm gonna use the where are they at? Poseidon boots. I I need the resist. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, dude. Okay, a hundred people instantly want me to do it today. All right. All right, immediate 100 for today. Well, we're doing Aphrodite chat. Yo, should I should I exit the dungeon or should I just? Yo, I, I'm I'm gonna go straight for Aphrodite then. We're going straight for you. Uh, let me just make sure. Wait, I wanna know. Can I port out? Can I port out without losing my progress? Cause I was thinking like I have arena tickets. I want to socket an actual normal flat resist jewel. Check if you've got a deck. No, th there's no good deck you can get dropped. The, the best deck is crafted. Oh, wait, let me check. Did I get a moat, though? Did I get any moats? Did I get a moat of eternity without realizing? Lord of Death's Bitter Hand. I did not get a moat of eternity, so I'm going to have to keep on farming for that. Face cam soon. 10,000 YouTube says well, we're getting very close. Exclamation point YouTube. Make sure y'all are subbed to the YouTube channel. Um... And uh, let me just see. What's the final vote? Tell yeah, 136 want me to do after day today. Okay, uh, you can't pour it out after killing Mouser. That's fine. I mean, it's the first battle. I'd rather I'd rather go with the. Oh, we got we have three gold skeleton keys. Um, I only need one obviously to solo it. But All right, I'm gonna pour it out. I'll lose a dungeon recall most likely. Yeah, I did, but that's okay. It's the first. I I don't have to do any battles to get to Aphrodite. I can just instantly go to Aphrodite. But I do want this flat resist jewel before I go in. I guess I'm going to have 5,400 health, 110 damage, 57 resist across the board, 44 flat resist, 21 accuracy, 352 crit, 45 block, 21 pierce, 100 pip chance. You know, the normal stuff. The normal tings. Jordo Mistborn. Let's grab another polished defense opal. Let's shatter this. We don't have to do Yevgeny on this wizard ever again. At least solo. We do have to silly do Yevgeny, but not solo. Shatter this. Socket. Affix this. Bam. And let's clear the deck. Okay, let's clear everything. Alright, Aphrodite, I gotta be honest, chat. It's, uh, yeah, sure, it's still a hard battle, but it's not, like, as long as you're not super unlucky, it's a boring battle. Like, you're just, you're spamming Scarecrow and Call of Krulu for essentially, like, the better part of an hour, maybe more, I don't even know. Um, but we'll we'll still give it a go, obviously, you know. Uh, pretty much, you just spam uh, brace over and over again. Uh, let's see, does the myth tendril use any wizard 101 myth tendril? And then you also spam shields, I guess. Although I don't wait, do they do anything against shields? Myth tendril can use basilisk, so stun blocks would not be a bad idea. He can also use blinding light. It, that is if we get the myth tendril, if we get it. Um, death tendril. Uh, let's see. Shield? No, they don't do anything if you if you shield. So I can shield this battle. So yeah, pretty much spamming brace and shields. That's literally all you do this battle. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is boom. Half of our deck will literally just be brace, and then the other half of it will be scarecrows, krulus, and more scarecrows and more krulus. As for main deck, we're gonna stock up on these. We're gonna actually we have to see which ones we get first before we stock up on anything else. Uh, did I do it? Yep, I did it. I'm not muted. You're you're muted. Uh, <laughs> although I, you probably can't hear that. Um, all right, we did Darkmoor. We sold the entirety of Darkmoor part one, two, and three. You no, know let's just talk to Tatiana. Seeker, you are truly one of a kind. Your sense of mercy and empathy is equaled only by your courage and strength of spirit. I have created a portal to return you to your home. Go with full speed, and may the spiral keep you Chat, safe. Chat, someone tell him. Someone tell him that he's muted. Tell him to unmute his Twitch thing. Alright, I'm gonna really quickly talk to Dorgan, just finish up the quest line, and then we'll do Aphrodite. It's all good, dude. At this point, I know if, if, like, if I am truly muted, a lot of people in chat will say it. Otherwise, it's just people just have the thing muted themselves, so. Hello there! You aren't dead! Are you? I didn't really 
expect to see you again. Breathing, at least. Glad to hear all about it! Wizard, I am glad to see you returned home. You are the first to engage in the law of Kondavasi in a great age. Perhaps after all this yep, time... Yep, you can watch it on YouTube. I will upload to YouTube eventually. Be at rest. Probably Thank on Monday. You, wizard, for all you have done. Bam! House of Mystery and Suspense. Victor of Kondavasi. Let's equip that badge. Truly the Victor of Kondavasi. Because isn't, isn't the whole point... Isn't the law of Kondavasi that, like... I have to do it alone? Isn't that the whole point? But people do it together anyways. But I truly follow the law of Kondavasi. Where is it? It's the four dungeons badges, right? Um, oh, I don't have the... I don't have the, 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 the Kemba Lung one. But yeah... Actual Victor of Kondavasi.